In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. Lots and lots of technical difficulties. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's just one of those days. I, I, oh, man. And Welcome to the Bundacast. <laughs> <laughs> but I am your host, host. Home of whatever. The place that no Little tacticalities. <laughs> let me see. Uh, let me turn on my camera. That way you can see who the host is. This is our 10th anniversary <laughs> podcast. I'm the camera. Amazing. Been doing this for 10 can years. Can you tell? <laughs> 10 years, 224, 25 podcasts in that range. Hey. And we've got a we got Frank in motion. Watch out. From the dungeon of Blockbuster. Yes. I'm here on a special occasion to be the host of the Trials of Trivia, which I do want to thank you for letting me be that host, Steven. <laughs> I I wanted to compete for the first time ever in these sacred games, and I could I could not imagine I could not think of anyone better to relinquish hosting duties to than to Frank. Uh, we're welcome. here with Mr. J, one-time Trials of Trivia winner. We're here with D Rock, the They of Days, five-time trivia champion of the world, reigning, defending, undefeated. And we're with the only, well, yeah, you've been in every single trivia we've ever done. She was mm -hmm. on the first episode of the Vundacast with me, talking about the Wolverine. We got Danny, the Cohortress, the Chicken Nugget. How do you feel about celebrating 10 years of the Vundacast, Danny? And my co-star, Nicholas Cage. Yes, <laughs> Nicholas Cage, for the video viewers, she's riding shotgun, Mandy style. He said, how do I feel about 10 years? I don't know. Yeah. Like time is, isn't real and everything's made up mm. and I should move to a graveyard. Let's well, play. Stop. Well, Existential. Let's go. Let's go. It's almost <laughs> Halloween. Well, the graveyard's Let's coming. Let's all think about death. It's time to play a game. <laughs> it's time to play the game. Jigsaw Frank, are you ready to share screen or we're still figuring stuff out? No, you I think Frank fell asleep. Oh no. <laughs> and uh Dom is also here, co-host of Dude, what, down last time he, I believe Dominic was on the Vunicast was when he hosted the Neverland of Lost video games live at Florida Supercon with Frank. Yes. The throwback. I, I will let you know that Dom did help me out a lot with this trip. And Dom will be helping keep score to be able and make sure this is a fair competition. <clears throat> a... What even getting when has it ever been a fair spider? competition? An impartial judge. <laughs> I run a tight ship here. Okay? I, so... Lies. All's fair, man. I'm also downloading the one scene. I do want to thank you guys for having me as the host, and I've been waiting for this. I've been you... <laughs> <laughs> and already. He just on this really fast. History. Frank Headroom. Is it that bad? Oh my god, yeah. it's gonna be so funny to see the playback <laughs> of this. It's so funny. But, but, I'm so hyped. I'm downloading. Yeah, like it's it's well, part of the story. It's, it's wonderful. Johnny Frank realizing his computer sucks. <laughs> it's the gimmick, I swear. 
I'm already launching the application as we speak. Hey, my computer is better than your computer, Dom. I'm telling you this now. Frank, if I Frank, mine has run functionally oh, fine. Okay, okay, I'm launching the program as we speak. So while we're even prepared. Nah. Nah. All right, so I'm joining the meeting right now directly from the app real quick. This is going to be a temporal hold, I promise. It's going to be perfect. We're the about to travel through time and space. Old time, Frank? Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you choose Frank to make trivia. When you choose Frank to be the trivia man, Frank disappeared. Frank also hosted the last time he hosted an episode. He hosted two episodes for the Vodacast by himself about Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so hopefully we've done our homework and listened to those episodes fully. <laughs> it's not all about Sonic. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Frank's gonna give us the Sonic cast. What do you want? Let's go. <coughs> Don't you know whose show you're on? So, as we're recording this, uh, the writers just struck a deal. Uh, the WGA just struck a deal. The yep. strike is over on to Wednesday. get some production going, but SAG right. is right. still on strike. Still. Yeah, very saggy. So, and the writers still have to approve the deal. Right. It's tentative. So, so but, a lot of a lot of the things we enjoy and talk about on the Blinda cast would not be made possible without these these entities and these people. And uh we think that they deserve fair compensation and a fair deal, and they should all be rich and powerful. Yeah. And each they should fix the Max app because it sucks. Oh my yeah. god! And they should still bring so back bad. HBO Max. I would, still I would so fire, bad. I would fire David Zelinsky. That guy sucks. Zavlov, yeah. Zavlov, Zavlov. 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 Yeah. I'm terrible with names. Zelensky is the Ukraine president. I know Zelensky is the Ukraine president. Not <laughs> <laughs> fire Zelensky. Oh, well, let's He's not do that. Best. Got it. I'm in the app. Whoa. Whoa, and we can Whoa. hear and see you. Holy shit. Holy shit, you hacked it. <laughs> can you see me? Can I? Can you hear me? How do I sound? You sound good. I you did look it. pretty good. You look like I you're thank you. still. But it's, we'll go with it. It's better. I, it's better. It's better. Gosh. But still, I do want to thank you all for the patience. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the anticipation of the anniversary <laughs> trivia, oh, the trials of all the trivia. The ultimate trial is here. Oh no! <laughs> I I will say oh, all man. the madness. Oh, man. So uh, this took a month to make. Like I had to cut a lot of questions out, and I had Dom trial so many different things when it came to this. Like he was basically the tester of all testings. <laughs> Like literally, give Dom applause because he. I basically wrote the entire quiz. He did nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. Yay, Dominic! No, you helped out with a lot of sections. You did not. Definitely give him a gold star. <laughs> so I'm gonna start my share screen now. Which, oh, shit. Oh this is definitely gonna be something this else. Gonna, gonna I know the long rough. anticipation is finally here. This is gonna be something. So behold, <laughs> this is gonna be something. <laughs> it is it, definitely there. All right, so I'm getting this full screen ready. Oh I can see. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I'm losing. Wait all a minute, of I can actually you. see I'm, you over here. No way. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm gonna. Yeah, lose no. That. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> uh, oh, and I thought I needed two things. Let this out of here. Okay. This should be perfect now. All right, so there is just me and this beautiful screen. So I want to welcome you all for the Trials of Trivia, the 10th anniversary edition. I am the new host, along with me, the impartial judge, the scorekeeper of all scorekeepers. We have Dom. So contestants, tell me your name for whoever can become this new champion of champions. Introduce yourselves. My name is Steven, and I'm going to be the next Trials of Trivia champion tonight. My nope. name is D Rock, and I am a five time Trials of Trivia champion. Oh, the five time, five time champ. 
I'm Mr. J, and I'm coming for the title. Pretty sure I'm going to lose really badly, but trying my best. Danny. <laughs> Excellent. But, so behold, we have quite over. We got Xena, the Warrior Princess, the WWE Movie Trivia, DC Trivia, Wolverine Trivia, <laughs> which is the ultimate throwback. 80s. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, we're ready, and we're going to get through this somehow. I'm excited. <laughs> also, my internet connection is unstable. What the heck? I, I, I don't understand what's going I on here. I knew finally we realized realized it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It, it, yeah. Hey, man, look, it could be the rainy weather. It could most certainly be the rainy weather. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're fighting God tonight. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> look, we're going to make this work. Don't worry. So look, I'm gonna go over the rules of this trials of trivia and 10th anniversary special. So the first thing is we're gonna have a lot of questions that are gonna be multiple choice. And we're also gonna have some other questions that are gonna be non-multiple choice, which should be worth more points than the regular defaulted amount. Okay. So here's where it's gonna get crazy. We're also gonna have some bonus questions that are gonna be a little powerful. So I'm gonna give you the points. So for right now, as we start with round one, multiple choice will be one. One point for multiples. Non-multiple choice questions will be worth two. Bonus questions will be worth five points. Whoa. Now, as we progress through the rounds, eventually the multipliers are going to increase. So by, let's say, in round two, everything's going to be times two, and then eventually times three. But once we get to my amazing Sega Challenge section, that is oh, the God. bonus round. All hell will break loose. I've already told Dom what's going to happen, and the points are going to fly wild. I Whoa. hope you're all ready. We're going to be doing this pretty simple how to answer the questions. So Steven came up with this idea a while back. So when you want to answer a question, you want to do like a little emoji or like wave your hands in the air like you care. So, so you should see a button on your screen that says reactions. Mm -hmm. If you use the yes or no or slow down or speed up or coffee reaction. I see you can no such turn button. them off or off. You have to press you the have to three dots. Out. Press the three dots uh -huh. and then you'll see reactions. Oh, okay. And then as you can see, I put a check mark next to my video. And that is me saying I have the answer. And then if oh. I click it again, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's how we are competing. <clears throat> Hold Mr. J, oh, do you okay. see the reactions? Okay, I think I see it now. Reactions. So, I mean, what should I do if I want to ask a question? Raise my hand. If you yeah. know the answer, use the use the check, or the X, or the slow down, or speed up, or the coffee, because you can okay. turn those on and off. <clears throat> okay. So we and each got our emojis. The emojis don't go away automatically. No, and just where, where do they show up on the chat? So on your, you'll see on your them on, like, on the screen, screen. on like, your own video screen. So oh, like okay. I'll show you my, this is an example. So if I, I have it set emoji. up so that everyone's on my screen, and Ooh. that's what's being viewed. So if you want to put everyone on your screen, you should do that sort of gallery view. Actually, I don't even know how to do an emoji. This thing's too complicated for me. Well, you don't <laughs> need to do the emojis. I'm hurt. We well, need to right. emoji. I'm going to give you a bonus point for that. So we're going to also have awarded bonus points. For Dumb. Steve has obtained the first bonus point of two points. Okay. Are we taking a lead right before the game starts? Let's so go. are you guys ready? So it's time to begin. We are going to start off with a throwback. We're going to start off with the Wolverine section. Yes, the ultimate throwback. I literally have to rewatch this whole movie just to prepare for the trivia and Oh my lord! I based, know. Dude, based that. on our first episode ever, and I and I haven't seen this movie probably in its entirety <laughs> since 2013 when we saw this movie. Okay. I even listen. I even I listened really to the podcast too. I, still, too remember, again, and I pressure. still remember almost everything from it. Ever seen this movie? I was so pissed at you. <laughs> I was so hyped. So like, oh, this is gonna be way better than Wolverine Origins. And... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's still better than Wolverine's Origins though. Bro, at least Wolverine's Origins has a straight middle plot. Way. But that's another discussion for a whole other time. So let us begin. Question number one. 
Whose what question animal, is it? It's anybody's question right now? It is anyone's go. So get your emojis ready. So what animal did Wolverine encounter when heading to town? Is it A, a fox, B, a bear, C, a wolf, or D, a wolverine? Steven? It is a bear. Wolverine walks with a bear. Are you talking about a chimpanzee or like an actual bear? No, not BJ and the bear. What? An actual bear. Well, you actually remember that. That's a, like, I'll give you like an extra bonus point for that. You're starting strong. That's right. That's right. I heard that episode. I was in that episode. I know that episode. <laughs> the, thro- <laughs> the throwbacks are real. Question number two. Do you lose points if you get it wrong? Actually, if you that's another thing I actually didn't get a chance to address. If you if you lose it, you don't lose any points, but it will go to the next person. Okay. However, I want to reveal more about that when we get to the bonus section. So don't worry. You get a bonus point for that, Mr. J. Whoa. One Let's go. little bonus One point. point. So question number two, everybody. What part of Japan did Wolverine travel to? Is it A, Kyoto, B, Tokyo, C, Okinawa, <clears> or D, <throat> Nagoya? What was the last one? Nagoya. Please, okay. I, I, I'm if, sorry for my butcherings. If everyone's scared, I'm going to say the answer. I have no, I don't remember what this is, but I'm going to say it's <laughs> Kyoto. Okay, the answer is wrong. Do we have any other takers? I'm sorry, Steve. Okinawa? Uh, your turn, Danny. Oh. Danny was faster. I'm sorry. I was going to say Okinawa too. So. Okay. So, unfortunately, Danny, the answer is wrong. Mr. J, you're up. We have two other choices left. It's anyone's game. Uh, D. Nagoya? Dang. Is there anyone else that wants to answer a question? Any other person? (laughs) (laughs) I would be happy to. You can tell everybody's (laughs) seen this movie multiple times. What is your answer, Old oh, trivia tri- champion. My answer is B, Tokyo. <laughs> you are correct. Plus what? a bonus point because no one else oh can get it right. You get <laughs> five bonus points with that correct answer. D Rock takes the lead as a Wait, champion. How many points should. You get to five? <laughs> Plus the additional multiple choice answers. So that's he, six. He had one option and he gets five points. Okay. <laughs> champions have to have benefits you know okay. they have to start off strong <laughs> champions get benefits. Okay. so here is the first non-multiple choice question what were the yakuza assassins <clears throat> guys as the funeral for yoshida what were they dressed as who were they where were they and how were they um what were they dressed <laughs> as what were um... they what were they disguised as Oh, they Steven? were disguised. Um, mm-hmm. I believe they were disguised as um. Man, I really don't remember this movie at all. I think they were. I'm guessing they were disguised as funeral patrons, but, but, but yeah, I'm gonna go funeral patrons. Let's but they dressed up as ninjas. That. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> so funeral patrons. Can you give me more specific by chance? And, okay. What? They held a fake funeral. It was a real funeral. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it is like I'll, I'll have to put that. In this is this is this is this is where you ha- this is where where I don't know if this is a Japanese cultural thing. Is this a thing in Japanese cultural funerals? Because I don't know. <laughs> Do I have any other takers of like, answering the question? They just. Dis- um, Mr. J? It disguises samurais? That that is definitely incorrect, sadly. I don't think the answer is gonna be in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> They're described as flowers. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you guys an hint. What you see in this picture, no one dressed up like that. That gives you any what? hint. Sure. Except for one. That, 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 basically none of them There's are a in the photo? Picture. Yeah. Danny, you, you're not getting the, the questions? <laughs> this is the no! The the oh my god, hold on. Wait, pause. wait, wait, Tama, you can't see the photos? <laughs> okay, we're having... <laughs> you're very good at technical this. Technical difficulties. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're having a lot of technical difficulties today. It's not just me, thank god. No! I'm just seeing Frank's face! <laughs> 
You gotta make some adjustments to your screen. Oh, no. oh. This this app is confusing. It's been a PowerPoint. <laughs> well, technically, this is a PDF. This isn't PowerPoint. Oh, it's PowerPoint. I can't figure that crap do. out. Okay, I'm. St I still don't know. Were they dressed as columns? <laughs> well, actually, there is. All right, look. I'll actually in this picture, I know oh, no. there's one thing. No. If you, there is a hint on the far left side of the picture. There's like a grass of oh, what they actually were dressed that's as. That's not it. Like what? Like if you look this to the left, should have been a multiple choice question. Yeah. Okay. What's the like, answer? What's right, the yeah, answer? So, so is this, is the, this is the first case scenario where Nobody if one knows. has answered the multiple choice, the next question will be times two. So the Whoa. answer was monks. Monks. If you had watched the movie, monks. you would I know haven't. The <laughs> Maybe I watched that movie and I don't remember any of this. I don't oh, sorry. remember that. I apologize. Those, those but, dastardly um, Yakuza. So the next question will be times two, okay? Yeah. I feel this so bad for Dominic doing an math. Entire round of this. <laughs> so this is a, this film again. So this is another multi, non multiple choice off the bat. Why did Wolverine's healing did not work throughout the entire film? Okay, Jay. I, 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 I saw just, Mr. Jay first. If you could just guess it, just easily. Didn't they like uh, poison him or something with some weird? Juice in his bones. <laughs> yes, yes. That's my answer, bone juice. He was <laughs> bone <Yes>. juice. <laughs> uh, so wait, what about you, Steve? Since I saw you did it right at the same time as Mr. J. Um, they they're tr isn't it? They're they're tricking Wolverine into thinking that he's dying, right? So Actually, the, it's a I'll plot against his health. Actually, no, it's more on Mr. J's side because the thing is, another mutant had kissed him, injected him with poison, oh, and a bug inside. A bug? Of him. I don't remember. A, a love bug. bug. I don't remember this movie. I remember him so getting poisoned, so but I don't remember a viper. The, the viper was the name of the mutant that poisoned him. Yeah. That's a chick. Mm -hmm, the blonde so girl that had, they was really like the financial advisor for the business. Can I get that two points? No, that is four points because remember, it's a time, it's a two pointer, but it's no. times two. It's four. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Exactly. I had well, good job. This. I have to remember all this. This is picking up. Now, here's one of my favorite questions. This also has a bonus God. question within <laughs> this question. So, in the movie, when Wolverine the was recovering, I'm, yes. So, <laughs> while Wolverine was recovering, where did he and his love interest go to hide away from everyone? What love hotel do they go to? And now here's the funny thing. Out of all these multiple choices, <laughs> one of them is real. Like, and the other one is obviously the one for the movie that was chosen. So if you can figure out which are the real love hotels, that's the bonus. But like the, the main one is which did they go to? Was it A, Sweet Chocolate Tokyo? B, The Mission to Mars? C, UFO Shiba? And D, the Dinosaur Arena Presidential Dinosaur Suite. So I saw you first, Danny. And D Rock. I'm picking Sweets Chocolate Tokyo because like, that sounds I just like a I, saw, I saw the, the check mark. Or was that Jay? That was that was yeah. Daniel first. I saw. Okay. Okay. Go again. I Say think again, it's A. As in, like, that's the one they went, or is that the one that's the real one? Like, oh. No, that's the one that they went. <laughs> okay. That's okay, that. I also think it's real. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'll give you the answer in just a second. So, Jay, you're oh, next. Wait, wait, okay. Yeah. So that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur Jay? Rita president. I, I can't. No sweet. I'm sorry, that was a little cut. <laughs> wait, is that the one they went to, or is that the real one? Is that the one they went to, or is that the bon like the bonus answer? I don't know. You like, tell your, me. Your audio, your audio had cut off. The, I'm sorry. The audio cut off on you. Okay, so the so answer he, is okay. not A and D, but Danny, you did get the bonus point for the sweet chocolate Tokyo. That is one Ooh. of the real. I knew it was a real love hotel. I was like, damn it. Yes. So that's what. So five we have points. two choices left. That's five points. Yes, that is a five pointer. Okay. So there are still two other choices. And two other contestants have not given their answers yet. Who would like to figure out what is the main answer? Steve? The mission to Mars is the main answer. B. Excellent. 
<clears throat> that is correct. Now, I guess I'm going to do this the smarter way. Out of these other three ones, which are real and which are not? I think, that, all, I I think all of the ones that you capitalized on the <laughs> PowerPoint are real. UFO Chiba, Dinosaur Arita, and Sweets Chocolate Tokyo are all real. That is true. That was the tricky part about it. All of them are real. So you get five points for each of those correct answers. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. Wait, so he just gets it. Okay, so he gets it. No, I never understand the points. So the strategy is to wait till everybody gets it wrong. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, it's going to get crazy. Well, Frank, maybe you should wait till everyone answers first so that at least there's tension in the question. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I'm going to no. make sure to make sure This that Wolverine <laughs> movie quiz is for someone who not only A, hold on, enjoyed the Wolverine some... movie, Frank, hold on. I have but some... B, wait, wait. watched so... it multiple times to <laughs> learn the minutia of the movie. And no one here is sitting here has done that. Okay. <laughs> So, That's Frank, the beauty. I, so, How many questions so, do we have here? Because this is like this, this is, is a lot of Wolverine. <laughs> Hold this on. is the beginning. <laughs> the Wolverine is the beginning. Don't worry. Wait, wait. Right. No, That's what I'm so, saying, though. Like, Frank, we're gonna go yeah, to like one in the morning. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna see how many people how many points I have right now because I definitely need to say so. Danny has five. Yes. Strong. Steven has Steven has fourteen. Who has five? You, Danny. You. You have five. Oh, okay. George has five, and Derek has five. Right? No, Derek has six. Okay. Come on, score master. I, all these fucking complicated <laughs> you made this complicated bullcrap point system, okay, sir? Hey man. I had faith in your math. <laughs> I trust in you, Dom. You could do this. Oh, God, I'm gonna... oh, all right. So look, all right, so I wanna I'll make some corrections for the bonuses. We'll wait until after the questions are answered, then just go yes, to the bonus section about it. <laughs> All right, so and the let next question... everybody answer first and then <laughs> exactly. give it up. Okay, so the next question is, with no hospital available in sight, where was Wolverine taken to get his injuries treated for his injury? This is not multiple choice. It is not multiple <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess whoever answered correctly. Not many people know this, but... <laughs> Wolverine was actually <laughs> transported into the Mojo verse and what? was healed by Mojo in the film. What is my guess? I have no idea, so I'm guessing. <laughs> X Men. Does anyone does anyone want to take a wild guess? If not the points we multiply what, for the next question. What Steven said. Jay. Uh, he got treated by the vet. Holy shit. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> you're on. No, that was a wild guess. <laughs> Bro, you get a wild, <laughs> yo, wild bonus points. Give Mr. J three additional bonus points for that. Okay. What a legend. This is he starting is to heat up. Okay. He's a Wolverine. That makes sense. <laughs> so here, here's an easy one. It has multiple choice, everyone. What was Yukio's prediction <laughs> of a Wolverine's death? Is it A, I see you on your back. There's blood everywhere. You're holding your own heart and hand. B, you will die having all your flesh melting off your body and suffocated in the adamantium. C, you'll die from a broken heart. Or D, you will sacrifice your own immortality to save the one you love. D Rock? I believe I will go with D. You will sacrifice your own immortality to save the one you love. Okay. Does anyone else like to go as well as Cypher? Oh, wait, Steven. Steven. I'm gonna go C. Wolverine will die from a broken heart because he's so emo. <laughs> he's lonely. Okay. He's so not for the answer. Wait, let everyone else. Who else wants to? Uh, anyone, uh, el anyone else? Everyone like else has to the answer, answer at least once. I mean, I was, I was gonna say D also, but I can't say D because you already said it. Originality, I like that. Still, you can still take D. It's not like it's not like you both won't get points. I'm Danny? gonna guess. I'm gonna guess A. Okay, so we got our all answers. The answer is A. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, the one that sounded most like dialogue. That's the one it was. <laughs> Ironic, but, I, but ironically, all three of these also did happen in the comics. A but sounded like the worst dialogue ever. I know. They it's all sounded awesome. like the worst dialogue ever. So, so one point. So no, one point no, but A was right? especially bad. 
Oh man, so here's an interesting one. Oh, my. So oh, what my was fuck. the name of the ninja clan? So we got a lot of ninja <laughs> clans here. So remember, one oh. of these is the real thing, what other is not. So I originally saw I'm Mr. J first the before. The real thing, huh? <laughs> Mr. J, you go first. I saw your thing. Uh <clears throat> the Koga Ninja Clan? Okay. Let me see here, Steven, what was yours? I'm gonna back my <laughs> my powers behind Remember, that's not deception. The Arashi Kage clan. That's me, Arashi Kage. <gasps> D Rock, you're next. Uh, I was I wanna say G also the Koga Ninja Clan. Wild. Danny. Um I'm gonna go with Black Ninja Clan. Because Bro, it's Danny. <laughs> And I feel like they would just call the <laughs> <out. laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay yeah. All right, look, straight up. Danny, you got it correct, but you got to get an additional five points. You saw through the deception of all these fake <laughs> ninja clans. Wait, what? It was Black yeah. Ninja Clan? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> the dumbest. They, they Bro, the dumbest one. I, like, it, was, it was the stupidest <laughs> thing. <laughs> Wait. <But> she's... <sighs> like, I, I swear to God. You're actually no, no, making no, no, me no. rethink. I, I, like... <laughs> I, no, 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 let me say something. Like, we, we were looking at we that film. I forgot they were called that name. I literally forgot they were called that name. <laughs> it was okay. called so briefly. It was the stupidest thing where it's like. I'm like. You're not even that's trying. The name it's, of your it's, clan? It's like, like, generic. Are you it's guys so. Just, like, did you guys just take a page from Black okay. Dynamite or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's, che- it's cheesy as hell. Ninja, but I, please. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought Fruit Ninja would throw everybody off. I'm pretty sure that was the no, biggest no, right. No, Fruit Ninja was not going to throw people off. <laughs> I, I wanted to pick Fruit Ninja really bad. I did. <laughs> I did. All right, so here. So That's we're getting so... close to the end of Wolverine. I know it's going to hurt. <laughs> oh my God. Next question. <laughs> who is the Silver Samurai? Is that the Undertaker? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who is the higher power? The one pulling all the strings throughout the whole movie. The fucking biggest plot oh, twist in that whole it... movie. It's the old dude. Oh, it's sorry. Dude. Okay, well, since you already mentioned it, what's his name? It oh, was mentioned in one of the earlier slides. If what if they can guess, because I don't know. I'm gonna give you like I'll still give Arish you eight Kaji points. or something. Steven? Arish Kagi is is the guy and it's like Wolverine's father in law. Or homeboy uh, from World it's War Two. Fruit ninja. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was actually yes, it was Yoshida. Oh, Yoshida. But I still give that to I'll give the two points to Danny. So Frank, so so Stephen gets two, right? No, Stephen didn't figure out who it was. Danny did. She saw it right was, through it all. So she gets it was two. Vincent Kennedy McMahon, the old guy. That's who it was. <laughs> give like give her also a bonus point as well. Okay. So now we're going into the fun section. Points. So bonus point is what one or five? Oh, even better. Three for this one. So, <laughs> so this section I made specifically for Danny, and I had Dom do a lot of <laughs> testing for this. And I'm not gonna lie, Danny, he will make you proud. He actually answered a couple of them correct. The and I'm like, I, I oh, he might be longest. better at me. A I, whole I, couple. Say it as I it's watched War, Zeno Warrior Princess over 15 years ago. Now, makes I mean, me if sound it, old. If it was, hell, if, it was but... if it was Buffy, it would have been. She would have destroyed it. That's true. That's why no. I chose not to. But we've done about before, done. so. This is filled with curves, so I had to choose something. <laughs> so, this is round two. All the multiple choices are now going to be times two. And basically, now all the single questions are times two. So, basically, Dom, prepare yourself for question oh, number one. Funny. Every question has times two. In Hercules' oh, The Legend Journey, how many times was Lucy Lawless as Xena appeared in the show? Is it A, 5, B, 6, C, 7, or D, 8? Steven? I'm going to go D, 8. I, th- I think they maxed her out. Okay. Does anyone else want to give a, a wild card guess? D, Rock. Then Mr. J. Let's go with C, 7. Okay. Mr. J? B, 6. Okay. Danny, all eyes on you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with... <sighs> I'm going to go with A5. Okay. 
Oh no, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> the answer was seven times. You got, you got it correct. Oh. Who got it correct? D Rock. Okay, so that's one nice. Choice, so that's <laughs> points. The champion is growing stronger. Wait, that was four. It, it's you... four points, though. Don't worry, I got. Doms, are you not writing? Do we like? I am writing this. Update this people points. on where the points are. Wait, you said we will do it at the end of this round. We'll give an update. At the end of the round. <clears throat> this is round in the two. Dark. But we didn't do it at the end Wait, of the Wolverine but... round. No, no, we'll do it at the we end already, of the Wolverine round. We did one beforehand, though, remember? We already went through an update, so Wait, it'd be kind of redundant to do two updates. Wait, I never round. tell anyone anything. The last three times I won this, I literally <laughs> thought I lost. What okay. inspired Zeno's win? I thought multiple choice So this one's one an point, interesting right? multiple choice one. What happened, Dom? I thought multiple choice were one point. No, I told you, round two. It's basically now going to be worth <laughs> two points. Multiple choice are now times two, so multiple choice is four points. It's going so well. I hate him. <laughs> just... All right, so, so here's my next question: What inspired Zena's war cry? Was it A, the Greek war cry? B, the Roman battle cry? C, the Amazon battle cry? Or D, the Arab women's elation? So, I saw everyone go. At the same time, but since this is bet, made for Danny, you, Danny everyone's goes gonna first. give the same answer. All right, Danny, you go first. D. Then our champion. Oh, it's D. Ahead. Okay, D Rock. It's D. Oh shit, Mr. J. <laughs> it's D. <laughs> Steven? I'm gonna go D. Arab <laughs> okay. women. Okay, so the answer is <laughs> the elations of the Arab women. That's yeah, the so origin. Everyone, so, everyone got so this is points. special since everyone got like the powers. B, the right answer, which is in, this is the first in this trivia. Everyone gets a bonus points of five. I. It means nothing. What is the good. point of that? <laughs> it's, it's additional. So everyone <laughs> gets the. Now I have point. to. So so now I have point. to. Just... gets it. Fucking nine. You're nine right. Points give nine... give Dan. You're right, Dom. Actually, no, Danny's right. Dom, no, give Danny ten points. Danny, you did that whoa, to yourself because you were like, "It's D," and everyone was like, "Oh, she guys, knows." Before I'm sitting all over the place, how many points am I giving to who now, Frank? Everyone gets five, but Danny <laughs> gets ten. She gets wait. Danny gets what now? Danny gets ten. She brings a valid point. This section was made for her. <laughs> okay, give her ten. So just. Give me a moment to just tally this up. All right? Not only do I know the answer, <laughs> I do it too. Okay, so yeah. yeah, those are bonus points right there. It's true. So the next question: How many seasons did the show have? This is a non-multiple <laughs> choice question. Shit! Oh man. Okay, so I can't tell, Mr. J. Your claps was that basically you saying you wanted to do it, or are you applauding Danny? Or um, I'm, I also have the, the yes for the do it, but I, I just clicked on the wrong emoji. Okay, so... Mr. J is Mr. first. J, you're first. Mm. How many I'm seasons? Go with five. Have? Okay. Steven, I saw you second. I'm gonna go with seven. Seven was very standard for syndication. I'm going seven. Okay. Danny? D-Rock? I'm all... <sighs> yeah... Uh, I want to say six. six. I want to say six. Six okay. it is. But, yeah. D-Rock, what's, what's your answer? Yeah, I said six, too. Okay, the answer is... Six. Oh, man. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I was like, I was well, thinking, I was like, there's no, so no, they that's, get so that's, so that's So that's five points for everyone, right, Frank? Wait, no, wait. like... No, <laughs> you get four points for answering it right. <laughs> The bonus points. Yeah, but, there's okay. no bonus for this. You also get bonus yeah, points for answering wrong. Right. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. I need, I need to pause this. Frank, All right, Dom. No. I, I told you. Mo oh, no, 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 no. arbitrary no. point system. And no. that's the point. No. No. So so Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank. All, right, look, I get, all right, hold on. Dom, out, Dom. Multiple choice right now is worth two points. Non-multiple choice are worth four points. What bonus points do? are five. Wait, what? Uh, okay, yes. so now there were four points now. Okay. Yes, what originally multiple choice was one, and <laughs> non multiples were two. This is times two. Well, I told you this before. Okay, so now I, I, it's, everybody has so now to answer the four. Question. And everyone gets 
four <laughs> points. I just want to make right. sure. So I yes, got for not my brain. Down. I told you this, and we wrote this down earlier. You wanted to do no, tallies. I... <laughs> I told you. I told you to send I, me information. I had technical <laughs> difficulties, but I told you right before we started. And I told okay, you two so who days ago. Get, bring who a calculator. Get four points? I, I, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you this straight up. Don't get a calculator. It's <laughs> gonna get. It's gonna go higher. I'm telling you this now. Frank, who fails? Who didn't get up? Who didn't get any? No, both Danny and D Rock got the answers right. Thank you. That's what I always wanted to know. Okay. This this is pretty. <laughs> Partial like, judge. I told just him having technical to send me information in paper, so at least I have it in my face. I told you in advance two days ago to have a calculator ready. <laughs> I, I told you. I hate you. I will actually. Hold. On. I'm gonna have to write this down. Yeah, put it in the chat. again. <laughs> For God's sakes. All right. Can I read out everyone's points? What everyone has right now. The wait until the round is over, Dom. Okay. Well, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, I have ten thousand points. Just FYI. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. I... I've been keeping tallies, so that's what I've been doing. I've been doing tallying. Dom, okay. you gotta write in numbers. Tallies is gonna get complicated. Okay, are we ready? Almost. Yeah. I'm writing this down in the chat for Dom. In the chat. Which yes. Chat? <laughs> I, hope, I hope it's on Zoom because you know I'm gonna. Yes, <laughs> it's in Zoom. <laughs> The Zoom chat. <laughs> multiple there choice is worth two points. Not multiple choice is worth four <laughs> points. And, and the thing is, as the rounds go is on, five, and everything will keep multiplying exponentially. As the rounds go up, hence yes. why you need a calculator. Well, why don't the why bonus told... points multiply? Oh, it, it, <laughs> the bonus it, points it will. Wait, wait till we get to the bonus round. Everything wait. multiplies, even the time, baby. Let's go. Yes. So let's go on to the next <laughs> question. So, this one's another non-multiple choice. After informing Athena, the goddess of wisdom, she had two choices. Either heal Eve or Gabrielle, or you die. How did Xena defeat Athena? How did she kill her? <laughs> one person can get this. <laughs> Who could be the one to figure out the way it went down? This is it take. is it an or or an and? Wait, no, George. Or you or you die. He he didn't. He, fix he gave. She she gave. No, your. Does, he, does she have to heal Eve and Gabrielle? Both. She had to heal yes. both of them. She gave him an ultimatum. Or she had just obtained the power to kill a goddess, so she gave her the choice: either you heal my friends or you die. Man, Athena was not having any of that, so it had to go down. So, Mr. J, I saw you. I'm had making raised... something up in my mind. I'm gonna make it up. All right, Mr. J. I just said <laughs> you cut off. I didn't hear you. Kills her with a sword. I don't know. But how? You gotta tell. Well, I stabbing her. <laughs> stabbing her. <laughs> okay, Danny, you're next. Wait, no, but I mean. Oh, I'm making it up. I'm making it up. <laughs> Yo, what's, what's going on, with D-Rock? Uh, what D-Rock, can I the power? <laughs> what happened? I, I don't know. Like, Discord was having some... <laughs> it just happens sometimes. I'm making it up that she gives Gabrielle her life force by kissing her and saves Eve. Okay. And that's how she defeats Athena. I'm making that up. I'm making it up. All right. Steven? Veterinarian. <laughs> Veterinarian. D-Rock? What, what's your choice, champion? Fruit ninjas, no. Um, she dies and is resurrected. I don't know. Whoa. Alright, the answer is she got stabbed. George got it right. Isn't that what Mr. I said? Mr. Jig, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Jay got it right. Oh my God, kills her with a sword. I don't know. Who would have never suspected it except for Mr. Jay? Who would Jay? ever suspect? I should get extra points for that. <laughs> the lady with a sword would stab people. That. Yes, no. give Danny three extra points for that. What? Wait, oh, but I got give... it right. I should get the extra points. That's right. You should give him also seven points for being no, the only one to I'm figure out how it happened. I'm putting the hammer. Down. Down. I'm, putting the ham- I'm putting the hammer down point. on this. He don't get no three points. She has to get it right. 
I should get bonus yeah. points. I don't know how to feel about that. Putting the hammer life. down. It's fine. Oh, don't give me any points. It's fine. Dumb. You can't just be impartial like that. I will be impartial. Don't you give can't, me you, can't, you, can't you can't have your emotions like that. You can't let it sway you not giving people points. Next question. Yes, yes the next please, question. Move on with this. So who did Ares give up his immortality to save? Z- it was in the same battle with Althena. That's the only hint. Danny? Isn't it Xena? Technically, yes, but it's not who he directly gave his immortality to save directly. Steven? He gave his immortality to Gabrielle to save Zena? Mr. J? What was the name of the other lady? Eva or something? <laughs> Eva yes. Marie from WWE? <laughs> Her name was Eve. Yes. Eve, yeah. To save Eve. Okay. These Vera? are the only people whose names. <laughs> no. um... So. <clears throat> Fuck it, Athena. <laughs> what? Okay, so the answer is both Danny and Mr. J got it right. It was Eve and Gabriella. I, I said Gabriella. Oh, I, I could have. Did you? So you got it right. Wait, hold Danny. on. Danny and George. Half hmm. points. Half points. Half C's. Half C's. Yes. So, so two points, everyone. So two points. Okay. Yes. So the next question, before Lucy Lawless was casted as Xena, who was initially cast but could not do the show due to being ill? Was it A, Vanessa Angel, B, Victoria Hill, C, Claire Stanfield, or D, Jennifer Sky? Half of them are from the cast of Xena. Danny, you're first, then Steven, then D. Oh, uh, okay. D, Jennifer Sky. Okay, Steven? B... Victoria Hill is where I plant my flag. Oh, D Rock? I'm saying D Jennifer's guy. Mr. J? Mm. C Claire Stansfield? Okay. The answer is Vanessa Angel. Oh my god, I was going to say that. Oh, <laughs> I know her. She would have been a great Xena. Mm. She was on the Weird Science, the TV show. Yeah, she was on Weird Science. Yeah, it, it blew it blew me off guard to catch that out. Who oh got my it? God, I was gonna say I was gonna say that one. Frank, who got it? No one got it. So no. the next question will be an, another multiplier. Okay. Oh, man. So here's a nice little fun one. How many times did Xena and Gabrielle kiss throughout the show? This will be a new, since it's normally times four. I'm gonna be changing it to eight points for this question. Oh my god, Danny. One time. Steven? Six. <laughs> Mr. J. <laughs> Three. Wait, no. Rock. I'm, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to go one. One. All right. The answer is four, four times. Time. I was closest. I have. I had three. That is true. We give mm-hmm. the points to Mr. J himself. Okay, so that's thirty two wow. points. So that's thirty two points, right? Price of rights, uh, price is right, so I like it. <laughs> right, that's, yes, that's... price of right rules. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So four so four times so four times eight? No, no, no it's just eight points. Like it was a time <laughs> two. Eight? <laughs> no <God>. duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So the next question. So this one's a fun one. This is not show related, this is post. So what museum was her outfit? Donated to. I saw you go up first, Stephen. Then I'm gonna guess X. A, the Smithsonian. Okay, but wait, D-Rock. hold on. This is probably a trick question because the show's filmed in New Zealand, so the Smithsonian would be a horrible answer because in New Zealand <laughs> they don't have a Smithsonian. They <laughs> obviously have the C Capitoline Museums. Do additional bonus points for that ingenuity. Try it, tie it down. D Rock, what's your choice? In there. I'm going to go D National Gallery. Mr. J? I was also going to go with National Gallery. Okay. Danny? I was also going to go with National Gallery. Goodness. The answer is the Smithsonian. Bro, oh, Steven! Come on! Yeah. You had it. So, so <laughs> Steven. So, Steven got like the reward plus the two additional. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't doubt yourself, Steven. 
So you got two points, mm. right? Yeah, two points. I'm going to give you one four. additional bonus point to have more confidence in yourself, Steven. Yeah, and I sabotaged <laughs> everyone. Perfect. <laughs> so here's a fun one. A dwarf planet was discovered in 2005. They named it Xena. But then a year later, it was named after a Greek goddess. Which goddess was it named after? D-Rock? I'm going... Wait. <laughs> A-C-E and H? That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to go gonna with A-B and D-H. H. Hera. So, before even anything, Dom, give the champion of all trivia a bonus points of five for noticing that, because no one had noticed it until our champion yeah. had noticed it. <laughs> you so, notice so, Danny, you were next, followed by Mr. J and then Steven. I'm going to go with E. Eris. Okay. Mr. J? I'll go with A, Aphrodite. <clears throat> Steven? I'm going to lock down C, Circe's goddess of magic. Whoa. The answer is Eris. Oh. Yeah. So, so we just right? finished up the round. We're going into yeah, the hardest we rounds. The, we got the right for 80s. Totals. Was, totals. totals. What is the current total looking so far? Come on. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I have to friggin' Hold on. You've got to calculate here. I have to put Danny's score. So. so we're in the most intensest round. All right. Round. So the score so far is what now? In the 80s, everything's multiplied by 80. <laughs> <laughs> so i will give a heads up so for this round it's gonna be a times three now well, you guys are ready for this so dumb multiple choices are three so, so hold on here <laughs> Dan danny's at 38 wild steven's at 23 cool George is at 31, and Derek's at 19. It's looking strong. We could have a new champion, possibly. Danny's in the Either lead champion. out of her category. Watch out. Oh, yeah. We might have a new champion on our foot. So, Dom, I'm updating it right now. <laughs> okay, so what's the point now score now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sound so, so so multiple choices now? are now <laughs> worth three points and the non-multiples are worth six points but the bonus shall remain at five okay because it's just you want to put that in the chat i did it's yeah i mean sort of it's kind of there don't yeah. worry about it <laughs> okay don't worry about it so but this one i had the most funnest time working on with jeff so here it comes we're in the 80s now so, what was the city where the Kumite took place in Blood Sports, which was based on a true story? And what was the harbor where the two detectives had lunch at? Is it <laughs> A, B, or C? Steven. Well, they're, they're both the same answer. Correct? Mm -hmm. they're... Yes. Okay. I'm going to go B, Hong Kong Causeway. Bay Typhoon Shelter. B. Okay. Danny, then D Rock. Guessing. I'm also going to go B. Okay. D Rock. I'm going to go A, Shanghai Interport Shelter. Mr. J. I'll take C. Typhoon okay. Shelter. All right. The answer was Hong Kong <laughs> Castaway Bay Typhoon Shelter. So, Steven and Danny won that? Yes, they got three points from that. Yes, okay. So the next question. This is a non-multiple choice thing. <laughs> Who is the true story, Baselin? Who is the man, the myth, the legend himself of the Kumite? Danny, I saw you first. Oh, no. I, oh, no. My, I just forgot to turn off my thing. Hi. <laughs> Steven? I believe it is based on the story of Frank Dukes. And I think also it was disproven that it's all an urban myth that he lied. I think that's also true. <laughs> I think he's a big fat liar. Okay, I'm, I'm like I can't even fathom that you would think it'd be. <laughs> you can't disprove something that happened in real life like that. Steven, I mean, I, I'm very upset with you. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry. 
Mr. Rankings. G. Wait, so are you saying he's wrong? Why are you saying why are you? Well, no, I want to I want to hear the answers. I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just taken back. I just want to see what you guys' have other choices. See if you know who it is. I'm I was shocked. gonna go with what Steven said, but now I'm questioning. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> That's my <laughs> strategy. <laughs> All right, well, well, while you're thinking that through, D Rock. Uh, I have no idea. Danny. I have no clue. All right. I'm going with what Steven said. Okay. So the answer is actually yes, Frank Ducks. What Steven and Mr. J had said. However, I'm going to give Mr. J bonus points for that. A five. And Steven, <laughs> you get no bonus points for disrespecting the man, the myth, the Kumite <laughs> oh, master six, himself, so Frank Ducks. Points. Okay, so hold on here. Let's, yes. <laughs> it's just that that hurts the heart, man. He taught John Claude Van Damme everything he knew, every single killing point, pressure, power. I've disrespected the dojo. Next All right. question. Next question. Yeah. Let's keep moving. So, for the Ferris Bueller movie, the movie, what was the, the what was the Ferrari in the movie that got destroyed? Unfortunately, which was the Ferrari? Which was. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Steven? I am guessing D. 1962. Oh. D-Rock? Then Mr. J and then Danny? I'm going to go A. Oh. The 246 GTL. Mr. J? B, 1960? Ferrari? Danny? I'm going C. All right. The answer is the 1961 Ferrari um, 250 GT California Spider. I was, trying to, I was trying to remember his monologue where he like describes it. I knew Spider was in it. I just didn't know it was with a Y. That's so, crazy. So, so, da- so Danny got three. And who else? Just Danny. Uh, yeah. Just I'm me. Okay. I shall be the champion. So guy. here's a a special one. So this is a non multiple choice question. What is the name of Spaceballs 2? And the bonus question is what is the name of Spaceballs 3? Steven, then Danielle? No, no, I forgot to turn off my thing again. <laughs> Isn't it? Whoa. I think it's Spaceballs 2 give us your money. And then okay. Spaceballs 3 I don't remember it all. I'm sorry. I I don't have the power. That's okay. Mr. J I was going to say one of them is the return of yogurt. <laughs> D Rock? Yeah, it's Spaceballs 2. Give us your money. Okay, let's see. The answer was The Search the for more, the search search for more, more money. money which Everyone is wrong. We would see where it closed for that. So I'll give you guys half points for that. Wait, what was Spaceballs 3 then? Well, Spaceballs 3 is called Spaceballs 3. Search for Spaceballs 2. So they, so Search for so more they, money. So they're getting, so uh-huh. they're getting three. Okay, so yeah. It was so, such a tricky question. The answer was right there in the middle of it all. So okay. both Steve and Mr. J get three points. I thought it was D-Rock. They were half correct. D-Rock. It was D-Rock. Okay. Never mind. D-Rock gets six <laughs> points because I made that mistake. I feel bad. Wait, what? You, I thought it was half a I, point. I could also I get three points. points. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I made it, I made it, I made a typo mistake. D Rock so, gets six points for that error of judgment. That mistake. I thought it was half. I thought it was half. But half right. turned into a full. All right, all right. Let's keep let's keep I'm, moving. I'm then you have to half. divide by two. I'm making it okay. half. I'm done. Dumb, let's keep... Stop making. <laughs> Dumb, you can't keep asserting yourself. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, you're gonna have to bleep him out. Frank, <laughs> the slower we go, the more the more Dominic's not gonna give a fuck. Okay? So D Rock, I see you at that check mark. You already know the answer before. Yeah, I'm already on top of this. While y'all are arguing, it's D Amblin or Ryan. Sam, yeah. And yes, yeah. you are right. Since you were so bold <clears throat> to go for it, I'm giving you ten additional points for that. So that's D so that's D Rock getting ten? Y- yes. Okay. And we're now a third of the way through. Plus three. Yes. So here's another one. This is a this oh is my a, God. a 50-50. <laughs> Where did the LaRussos move from in the Karate Kid? Was it A, 
from New Jersey to Sunny Valley, California, or Sunny Valley, California, New Jersey? Mr. J, I saw you first, then D Rock, Danny. And from Steve. New Jersey to Sunny Valley of California. Let's go. I'm also saying A. Top what, chop. What Mr. J said is true. D Rock? Yes. Right, yeah. Bro, a. everyone is right. Bonus points <clears throat> for everyone. Everyone gets their threes plus the bonus points of five. So everyone gets eight. Eight. Thank you. You guys are fools. Stop Wait, answering so confidently. Then everybody like knows you're champion. right. <gasps> me, me, I know the answer to this. D Rock, I had I saw your check mark. Oh yeah. Uh oh no, it was just uh leftover. Ah, <laughs> I do want to buzz in because I know this too. All right, Danny. It's then D Rock, then Steven. It's D Jareth. Yes, okay. D Rock. Jareth, yes. Steven? Jareth D. Jarrett, not to be confused with Jeff Jarrett. I actually wasn't gonna have that as a question there, like double Jarrett there almost. So yes, everyone gets the points for this one. So getting three. Yes. Okay. So this is the fun one. How many times in the Goonies was the word shit used in the movie? Pardon my French for breaking it. We should censor this. Oh I, I want I want this. I'm gonna Is guess it? ten D. All right, D Rock, then Mr. J. I'm going all the way, 25. Okay. Mr. J. <clears throat> I'm going to say 20. Danny? Uh, I'm going to guess A15 because I have you, no idea. You are correct. Oh my fucking yeah. God. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Guess it. Give her three additional points down for that. Okay. So now this one's a fun one. This is a bo yeah. it's a multi choice, but it's yeah, also gonna be treated as like crushing. a super bonus point of this section. So which actor caused the boat scene to be scrapped during the movie because dropping an F bomb? Steven Spielberg what went all the movie, kids the same time for the Goonies. Goonies. This is the Goonies. We're still in the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> so which one of these Goonies was the one? I saw Steven first, followed by Danny, then Mr. J. I'm gonna blame Corey Feldman D. Danny? I'm going to blame Sean Astin B. Mr. J? I'm going to say Josh Brolin. Whoa. D Rock? Yeah, yeah, I think it's got to be Josh Brolin. Bro, you both are correct. It was Thanos himself. Oh, Let's go. He snapped Bro, like that literally, tape. Steven Spielberg was so pissed. He wanted all those kids to come out of the water at the same time, see for the first time, and he dropped oh, that F bomb so <laughs> crazily. Oh. It was intense. So now, we're entering the intermission. <laughs> Not the Wolverine again. No. No. Okay. No ordinary. This is the All 80s right. to 90s well, cartoon well, Frank, section. Should I, should, I, should I say how many numbers? Should I say how we have so far? Who's we'll wait right? until after this because this is where it's going to end the 80s. So we're going into the intermission section. 80s to 90s. The Powerpuff <laughs> Girl. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. So this one I had to make so many cuts for. It hurt me so bad. You but really it had to be to done. Do cartoon oh, one, really. I really want to do the cartoon one, but it had to be done. So, in G.I. Joe, what part of the army did Sergeant Slaughter serve before becoming a drill instructor? Danny, I saw you first, then D-Rock. A. Army. D-Rock? I'm going G. Marine Corps. Mr. J? I'm also going to say Army. Steven? I'm going to go Marine Corps. And that's not how you spell Marine Corps. Wait, why are there two Air Force? Uh, You're supposed to spell Marine Corps? <laughs> You're supposed to spell Air Force. Why are there two Air Force? No, no, no. There's a curve. Give him a bonus point for that. Marine Corps is supposed it. to be spelled with a P instead of an E. Okay. Yeah, it's not core like the core of the earth. It's like <laughs> C-O-R-P. Yes. Give them bonus. Everyone it. gets bonus points for this. But the answer was Marine Corps. Okay. So Steven, got, so Steven was the one who got the answer right, right? <clears throat> Steven well, and D-Rock. It was D-Rock and D-Rock. So they both got the natural three points. Okay. But everyone gets a bonus point for noticing those grammatical errors. So just give me a moment. Fucking put those in. <laughs> okay. Errors. Everyone gets five <laughs> bonus points for this. This was a it was a big blunder. I thought I fixed this, but I did not. Unfortunately, I, I want to make my just, drag just, name just, just grammatical, just errors. <laughs> <laughs> grammatical, no, grammatical errors. Grammatical errors. So the next question. Hold on. Just... Okay. 
while Dom is working his tallies, knowing is half the battle. What is the <laughs> other half the battle? <laughs> Mr. J. Doing no. the battle. <clears throat> the battle. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean battle. Let, let's move on, Steven. Your, your choice. If knowing is half the battle, then I think the other half of the battle is killing your enemies mercilessly. No All quarter right. given. That's that's what you're going with. Okay. The more you know. This is what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. That's the moral of the story. And knowing is truly half the battle. Do you rock your necks to Danny? I'm saying the half? that the other half of the battle is doing. Whoa. Danny? I'm saying the other half of the battle is learning. But learning is knowing half. Knowing is no, once you learn, you know, but you don't know until you learn. Oh, that's really philosophical. <laughs> Think about that. Think about it. That did blow my mind. So the answer, technically, is execution. So technically, D Rock and Mister J got it right. It's the other half of the battle. Oh, yeah. execution is no, doing. That's no. doing the thing. <laughs> Mister exactly. J said that it was the battle. Okay, the battle. Uh, yeah, the right. half of the battle. Is the battle. Get they get no points. I'm not. Getting, I get yeah, points. Someone can't points. take away my points. I'm not giving points to this stupid question. <laughs> but, no, still, no, yeah, no, but the thing is, you did points. say the main the thing, though. He literally said doing it, which is execution. So I'm D-Rock does deserve the points, points though. Why not? Who gets the points? <laughs> D-Rock does. Okay. I, the I battle. Say. Is the other half of the battle is the battle. Okay. so It's so. not. The battle is the whole <laughs> battle. Who's the battle. No, the other half is knowing. And the second half is the actual battle. Jay is not that wrong, technically. Which is, d was more point, to the point of what it was supposed to be. So give Jay one point. Just one Dominic point. is going to determine the, the winner by who annoys him um, less. <laughs> <laughs> so I have most of the points tallied up. I'm just waiting until I can just say it because it's ridiculous. Don't worry, it's about to get crazier. Oh, fuck. So here oh, is another one. <laughs> what was Lionel's father's name? Was it Jaga, Linksano, Bangle, or D Clotus? Danny, Steven, and D Rock. That's a Bengali. Say, not I'm going to say C Bengali because it's stupid. A -Rock? Jaga. What was your answer again, D Rock? I'm, I'm going to go with Bengali. Okay. Mr. J? Linkso? Okay. Unfortunately, no one got it right. I didn't want to go for a second time. Claudus. 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 Claudus, obviously. Okay. Oh. If you like Pina Coladas. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just That's I'm just dumb. gonna I'm just gonna give everyone one point for that because the Yay! <laughs> the merciful score people. That's what Claudus would do. That's true. <laughs> so here is a tricky question. This one is a non-multiple choice, but it also will be the bonus question. For who is the youngest member of the Thundercats? Danny and D Rock. I don't. Oh, I don't no. know the answer. I don't know. I don't even was... know the names of all the Thundercats. I'm sorry. That was a. That I was didn't know the name of no none Thundercats. <laughs> I'm gonna say I think I, I think everyone just knows the name of Snarf at this point. Just, I, I have no snarf. idea what that is. What is a Snarf? It's snarf the little cat on the there. very bottom left. Snarf. Okay. I was, Steve? Who, who is it, Mr. J or me? You go first, Steven. Shame on you all for not knowing that it is Hit of the Thundercats who is the youngest Thundercat. Kit. He's right. That's right. Yes. Kit. That's, That's what correct. I was going to say. He's They're totally going to say that. Correct. Correct. All right, totally. Mitchell, all right, so, on Stephen is right. Wait, shush. Mr. J. Do the technical. <laughs> hmm? Let Mr. J answer. He has, a, he has an answer. That's right. Go, Mr. J. I, I said I was going to say the same thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> nobody got this one right. It is. Do the technicality. <laughs> you could say it is here, but it is actually not. 
So this will be the second chance. Out of one of these characters on this picture is the youngest no, member. They got it wrong. It's let them, Snarf! Let them... I'm gonna say it's Snarf! There's no way! Look at that thing! That's old I'm as fuck! I'm saying it's Snarf! <laughs> Anyone wanna go for the second chance? Aside from I'm gonna say it's Snoogans. Oh, oh, I know the answer. 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 Lionel is is artificially aged up. So Lionel is the youngest. No. So, yes, it is actually Lionel's weakness. Since when the show started, he was younger than all the members, even hit. But the thing is, something happened in Cryo Spaces where mentally he is but of a child, but he is a grown Thundercat man. Which also oh, is his weakness because it's not even two. Oh, Steven, you got it. So Steven gets, what, 11 points? He gets 11 points. That, that's the curveball. Steven is a Thundercat. <laughs> oh. So here's the next question. What is the original Voltron's Japanese name called? Is it A, Beast King Go Lion? B, Gatsu no Lion? C, Junkin Sentai? Or D, Gekai Ranger Beast Formers? So, Steven? Mr. J, then Danny. I saw you both at the same time. Who would like to go first? Because I could not see. Geki Ranger Beast Formers. D is my guess. All right, Danny. I'm picking B, Gatsu no Lion. Mr. J? I was going to say Beast King Go Lion. Whoa. D Rock? <laughs> the answer is. Beast King Go Lion. Whoa! Yeah. It's the most badass name there. Oh, wait, who got that right? Mr. I did. J. Mr. J. Oh, Mr. J. Okay, so that's. That is a dope name. So here's one that Dom chose himself. What is Optimus Prime's original name before coming up Prime? Troculon! <laughs> <laughs> Steven? Um. <laughs> Jesus? I don't know. <laughs> Damn, I've been saying that too. It's Christ. <laughs> Wait, you say Hercules? Hercules. <laughs> okay, okay. Mr. J? Optimus Even? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you two points for that. But unfortunately, the answer was Orion Pax. Oh, what? Who was going to get that? Fuck. I Orion was saying that. What was that? Of course. <laughs> of course. I... This is the I Dom pref- question choice. I this prefer Optimus very Prize, really. honestly. He asked me coolest. for this one. And I, just, I, I really did. Me, he asked me the one of the few only Transformers like fucking thing I can think of, and I just chose, you know what? Fuck it. What is Optimus Prime's original name before Optimus Prime? Oh, yeah. So, no one got it, but the next question will be a multiplier of times three. Oh, but Jay gets two points for that I one beautiful joke. Points, so don't worry. Dom, that's an assorted one. Just give him two points, Dom. I just gave him two points. I okay. just did that. <laughs> okay, so here's the next <clears throat> one. What were the two swear words used in the 1986 movie? They swore? Yes, Danny. <laughs> and then Mr. Hell, J. Hell and damn. Okay. Mr. J, then D-Rock? I was going to say shit and damn. D Rock? Yeah, Hell and Dam was going to be my guess, too. Steven? I think there's that scene where Rodimus Prime and RC are alone together. And she <laughs> says, Whip out your Robocock. And he says, Only oh. if I see your sweet Robo Pussy, RC. <laughs> I don't uh, think this can go like, up on YouTube I anymore. We just have to censor version. that. Leave, you can leave. get it on YouTube. It's cool. So yes, it oh. was damn. So D Rock and Danny get one point, but Mr. J, you get that bonus. Yeah, you get the bonus. Shit and damn. Exactly. Okay, you get the so power Danny... of ten points. So Madly on God. Madly so, on God. So wait. So it's six <laughs> times. It's six times. What now? Times ten, 10. points. <laughs> No, this is six times a hundred. I, I just, I just decided to just give the points out instead of the multiplier. Six times five thousand. Wait, 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 Frank. How much? How, how much? The bonus for? Hundred squared. It, it's five times two is just it's ten. Ten points so total. 10. Okay, so ten. Okay. Yes. One of the few times where bonus points will be multiplied. So now, cartoon time. 
of the 90s. We're done with the 80s. So, 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 so do I tell everyone's points so far? The section's yes. almost over. Don't worry. Oh, my God. It is literally <laughs> the 90s, Frank. It's They're Come both on. in the same section. Don't worry. I'm going to kill them. So in the Hey Arnold show. You're killing me, Frank. Who is it? <laughs> I'll try. Who is the one that heavily breathes behind Helga? She romantically monologues about her love for Arnold. Steven? Uh, C. Curly? Danny? A. Sid, because there was always a kid named Sid in these cartoons. D. Ross? I didn't Danny. watch Hey Arnold. I was going to say A. Sid, too. Mr. J? Sid Vicious. <clears throat> The answer is Sid Justice. It was Brainy. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh one nobody God. picked. God. No one gets that one. I'm sad. God. Burr, burr. I mean, so oh. here comes another one. God. That Which character appeared more up. in the series? A. Stupid. B. Monkey Man. C. Pigeon Man. Or D. Mickey Kaline, who is the Babe Ruth of the show. D. Rock. Pigeon Man. Steven. It's got to be the stoop kid. He never leaves the stoop. <laughs> Mr. J? I'm going to go with stoop kid also. Danny? Yeah, I'm going to go stoop kid. Okay. Unfortunately, no one got it right, but I'm going to make it easier. <laughs> ah. Stoop kid <laughs> is not it, nor is it Pigeon Man. So we got between two characters right now. Is it B, Monkey Man, or D, Mickey Kaline? It's Mickey gotta Kaline. be Mickey Kaline. It's gotta be it's gotta Monkey be Man. It's gotta be Mickey Kaline. D Rock? Mon- so we got two for Mickey and one for Monkey? Mickey Kaline. Alright, Danny, you got it right. Monkey ah. Man. Oh! Not Monkey Man. Monkey That's Man. Three. That's horrible. I didn't Pigeon watch person. this show. Pigeon Man was the second high. That was, does, but that's the picture you use. Does Pigeon Man fight Monkey Man? No. Okay. He's a peaceful that's guy. Not he doesn't Monkey like the fight. Man. What are you talking about? That is Monkey Man. Well, but that's not what the thing says up there. You, you didn't point that Mickey out, so you don't Kaline get bonus Monkey points. But Mickey Kaline is has his name right there on yeah. the screen, <laughs> so I feel like it's a series of elimination. It's what? a curveball, literally. But you're also right. Pigeon oh, Man is yeah. it is confusing. Pigeon, Pigeon Man is the guy with the aviator. Is the aviator? What is it? Okay, oh. next next I question. I figured the M stood for Monkey Man. That that's a thing. Like he's no, he, Pigeon Man wants to fly. Okay, Monkey next a question. So what city <laughs> did Doug's family move in the first episode of Doug's show? Why are there eight? so many questions about Doug and Hey Arnold? Well, this, we this is the got first the we just question got about Doug. The previous one was, hey, Arnold, this is Doug now. This is Frank's they trivia, all blur okay? together. So, <laughs> D-Rock, you're next. D-Rock, then Danny, then Steven. Is it I'm Townsville, going... Peach Creek, Bluffington, or Hilton? I'm going to go with C, Bluffington. Danny? I'm also going with C, Bluffington. Steven? I'm going with B, Peach Creek. Mr. J? I'm going with Bluffington. Okay. So the answer itself is Bluffington. But now here's the question. Can you, for a bonus point, can you name the other towns? What shows they're from? Townsville is from the Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. Give me that it, point. It is spelled incorrectly. You get a bonus point <laughs> that too, dude. It is spelled Townsville, not Townsville. <laughs> that town's vile. <laughs> that town is real vile. <laughs> Oh man! So, <laughs> okay. Anyone else know the other town names? What they're from? No, we don't know anything else. Next question. Peach <laughs> Creek is the only thing we had a bad head of Eddie, which hurts my heart. So here's a funny one, a Doug one. So what was the name of Doug's first <laughs> <laughs> and his last movie? D Rock. Doug's first movie. Danny. Doug's, you said his first or his last. What's the, oh, what was the name of Doug's first movie? The what first one, Doug's first movie, 
and then no, oh, that's they're both the first. It's the first and last movie. <laughs> oh, yes. okay. Why does it say B B Doug? Yeah. Don't don't think about that B part. That was a, that was a type. B B Doug. B B Doug. Everybody, stop Doug. pointing out grammatical errors to get bonus points. Okay. <laughs> That's, I, that's what I've been saying, man. Spoken like a true champion. Give D Rock some bonus points for that. <laughs> Remember when Doug was a famous uh, jazz singer, BB Doug? BB <laughs> Doug! So, I'm Jay, going what? Doug's first movie. <laughs> All right, Jay. I'm also going Doug's first movie. The answer is Doug's first movie. Danny, wait, what did you choose? Everyone shows I, Doug's first movie. Everyone okay. shows Doug's first But D Rock gets a bonus point for to putting the foot down as a champion should. Give him five bonus points for that. What the f um, Oh my god, okay. It's because he knows grammatical errors um, happen. Grammatical errors. Yes. So here's a fun one. What That's was the Puffer Bros called in our pilot? What was their original name? Steven? Were they the Powder Puff Girls? The Powder Puff Girls originally? <laughs> no, sadly. That was one name they were called by another group of people, but no. It is not. Danny? I They're don't know. The, the... the Salty Sweet Girls. All I know is that it was not a PG-13 name. Yes. What? The oh, power the fuck girl? The, the will <laughs> fucking kill you girl. The pussy puff girls? What the fuck? No, not like that. <laughs> you oh, said I it wasn't it. PG-13. Pussy Murder, guy? death, kill girls. It was at least in terms of a standard of a TV-17. Yeah. Of a, of a, of a, of a TV-17. Of a the, TV murder, the murder puff girls? The, <laughs> the right. murder... What was your choice, Mr. J? I don't remember. D Rock? <laughs> no <laughs> answers. <laughs> okay. no All right, no one got it. It's the whoop ass girls. Oh, -ass. of course. I should have known that. I feel bad. Yeah. That so sounds really dirty. Situation. That sounds dirty. So here's Rugrats. What was I mean, the, the first episode? I mean, the original was one, though. Go on. Well, no, like, go on, Dom. You were saying? The original pilot name before it was before it was chosen that was the whoop ass stew. That's true. Of so course. I also saw D Rock with that question mark. I mean not the check. What was the first episode of the Rugrats? Then Steve. Going with A Tommy's first birthday. Steven? I'm very tempted to also say A Tommy's first birthday. I think it's Tommy's first birthday. Mr. J? Tommy's first birthday. Danny? A. Yes, it's Tommy's first birthday. Everyone knows that. It's common knowledge. So here's a special one. The bonus one at the stage. <clears throat> in the episode, Angelica breaks a leg. What was Stu making at 4 a.m. in the morning? He proceeded to lose all traces of his life. In meaning, what was he making her? What sweet? What food? Steven, D-Rock, and then Mr. J. He was making food. I thought he was inventing something for her Angelica doll. Like a better Angelica doll. Okay. d uh, Uh, What sweet was he making for her? What food? At four in the morning. What it, could it be? Is it a jello mold? <laughs> Mr. J? You said it was a sweet guy. I, th I was gonna originally say coffee, but now yeah, I'm thinking cake. Too. What? 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 Like four year old drinks coffee? Come on, a cake, Danny. Danny. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say cake. The answer is chocolate pudding. Chocolate, chocolate pudding. Wow. Yeah. So the next question will be a multiplier. So who's ready for this? In the night before the '90s show for X Men was chosen, what was the pilot called? Was it A. X Men Pride of the X Men, B. Wolverine and the X Men, C. X Men Evolution, or D. The Uncanny X Men? D. Rock, then Steven. Well, the, the Uncanny X Men. Okay, Steven. 
So there was an '80s anime version of the X Men called Pride of the X Men, which featured Kitty Pride, but that predated the '90s show. So I think the correct answer is the Uncanny X Men, because as we know, they they made Wolverine and the X Men later, and then they also made X Men Evolution later. So those are those are not right. Mr. J, the Uncanny X Men. Danny? D. Okay. Unfortunately, no one got it right. It was X-Men, Pride oh. of the X-Men. Wait, but no, close, but no, Sway. that doesn't make any sense. That, that was That's the a totally was, different show. The 80s was the pilot that pitched the thing. It took them many years to make the actual show. What? Yeah. Wait, D-Rock, you got some of the comment? Yeah. I saw that check mark. Yeah, no. Oh, Next, that, that screen <laughs> froze for a second. So, super duper bonus question that will be worth 15 points. Can you name me a Western cartoon show or even a live action show that breaks the rules that's from the 90s that is still ongoing to this day? Steven? Wait. Whoa. Cartoon. I was. I think D Rock was first. first. Oh, D Rock, my bad. You go first. The Simpsons. Unfortunately, that is an eighty show. What it does not count? Oh, that's true. The nineties onwards. Oh, you didn't say that. I oh, knew that. Wow. And this it's is an eighty-nine. This is an animated show. Yeah, well, animated, animated, but show. also you could use a live action show as well. This is a super duper rule what? breaker. Not, wait, of the Frank, we oh, talked wait, about what? Frank, we talked about this. We did. Animated. I know. I can name a show if it doesn't have to be animated. Hmm. What's the answer, Danny? General Hospital. No, but that's not from the that's 90s. Before the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me. That was the 90s. Not? Oh, the 90s. It, was the it predates. 80s. You're right. Okay. Dang it. Hold on. Think about oh, cartoons Gray, the Gray's, Ana- Gray's Anatomy. What, that is a 90s show? Yep. Wait a second. I thought Gray's Anatomy came out in like the 2000s. I think it was the end of the 90s. Did I was going to say The Simpsons, so I have no idea. Well, I'll Maybe. be Family canceled. Guy? Family Guy got canceled multiple times. You get half a point for that, Mr. J. Oh, no, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Okay, what answers so, were you looking for? Any cartoon, uh, primarily like the main ones, like they're cartoons. only a few. That's the most main. Is anything else live action? That's just a bonus of that bonus. Oh, out. South Park. Yes, that is definitely one. Mm. Can you fi- can you figure out one more? There is one other primary one that was not that's on this on, list. That's on right now. Yes. Squidbillies. I don't. A, know. a live action or a cartoon? No, cartoon. a cartoon. Think. Power Rangers? That's that's a lot of cartoon. No, that that show ends every Power, season. Powerpuff Power Puff Girls, but didn't they end? It yes. ended. Okay. Think about okay. it. It's like, I if I were to tell you what it would, it'd be an easy giveaway from what network it's on. That's mm. the only hint I can give you. Family Guy. No, Steve, Mr. Sorry, Jerry mentioned that. Oh, okay. Um. And it's a PG it's a, show. It's a ch- oh, it's a child's cartoon. Okay. Oh, Rugrats? It sucks. I wish, no. no. Okay, we don't know. Clifford the know. Dog? Yeah. It was SpongeBob. Oh. It came out in 99. Ah. This ends the 90s section. Okay. Goodbye, So, Don, what are the current points? Yeah, hold on here. That show hasn't been canceled? So, nope. yeah, SpongeBob has still been ongoing. South Park has still been ongoing. Let if you want to go live action wise, for the shits and giggles, both Raw and SmackDown have been ongoing since the nineties too. <laughs> it was a dead giveaway. Oh, but... what a dead giveaway! What a dead giveaway! Hey, Amen. Uh, Smackdown, at, Dan, no, SmackDown's Danny's not. A at, Danny's at seventy nine. It's definitely a show. Yeah, seventy nine. SmackDown started in the two thousands. No, I could have sworn no. it started in the nineties. I was think it started in two thousand two. Wait, I'm pretty sure. Do you can't Google. This something. might be future information. We need to know. Steven, <laughs> no, no. Steven's at seventy-three. 
Did you also add the 15 points for D Rock South Park answer? Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, 59. Yeah, oh, SmackDown God. came out in 1999. Oh, Hold on here. D Rock's doing crazy video. <laughs> what is that going on? What is that? Dude, he's, he's planning. I mean, they are planning a lot of stuff right now for the, yeah, the Matrix. Time travel. Okay. So I have 70 I get- something. It's scary. I expect D Rock to like. I expect so, they, they, they so, almost so like Steven, that's disappear. You're in the found footage movie. I know. I'm scared. The Blair Steven, Witch Project. Uh, so hey, what were those totals? Hold on. Steven at 73. Jenny's at 79. Mr. J, you're at. Uh, 83. Whoa. And D Rock's at. Uh, Ninety-one. What? <laughs> that, the fifteen points came in clutch. So now we're entering the fun section, the super oh, duper boy. WWE movie trivia section. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. The Marine Six. <laughs> so question number one: In Suburban Commando, what did Hulk Hogan bend the rebar into? Danny. Oh, I, check I, mark still on you. My, but... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna guess because I'm gonna take initiative. Hulk Hogan bent it back to normal. Okay, D Rock. C. <laughs> I'm just gonna say multiple circles. D. Steven, then Mr. J. I think it's back to normal, but I'm going to guess bunny because I want it to be bunny. <laughs> the answer is a bunny. Oh! So, Steven, so Steven gets four now? Or no? Yes. Okay. So this one is a very easy guess, one. Okay. Oh, I, th- I thought... My bad mistake. I'm so sorry about that. What it, oh. Give, give Mr. J just one point because I didn't give him a chance. I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah, J. Yeah, who's full Come of on. that now, huh? So, what was Christopher Lloyd's epic, iconic line? Since I did skip out of you, Mr. J, you're going to go first for this one. No, oh, but... great. The one where there's no multiple choice. It's the <laughs> most iconic voice line next to 1.20 gigawatts. Great Scott. I actually, know this, I actually know this one. I actually know this one. Iconic line in Suburban Commando. Yes. What happened to him? In, in the iconic classic <laughs> Suburban <laughs> Commando. Look, it is quoted a lot. It's so quoted. I hear it in all the hip hop records. <laughs> oh my goodness! You hear the most modern of films. Hey, guess I come on. Yeah. Poop. What, what would he shout out? <laughs> all sweating and everything, and anger. Hey man, get off my lawn! I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> okay, who who wants to go next? I'm back from the future. <laughs> Danny. I said I'm having a heart attack. That's what I oh, think. Steven? He yells. I think he tells Hulk Hogan's character because he's from space. I think he goes, "Go back to space." Wait, Frank, <laughs> can I say it? Yes, you can, Dom. I was frozen today. <laughs> Ten points for Dom. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so iconic. No the one funny, knows. The, the, the best like, part. The, the best part reason, is that the only reason. The only reason I know this mm-hmm. one is because I watch fucking dumb YouTubers on it. Okay. <laughs> the, the best Nostalgia part. critic. Is that Frank was frozen today. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a go- here's a fun one. In the Princess Bride, what did Fesnick say to oh, Weasley okay. as? As he knocked out Danny, uh, rest Wesley. well, Wesley. My bad. Rest well and dream of large women. A. That is correct. Wait, oh. wait, D Rock also. I knew that too. <laughs> Damn, Frank, you You're too slow, D Rock. The game I think is I was, but okay. The game is evolving. The I game feel is like evolving. D-Rock oh. and I were like right there together at the I same time. Dang. Don't worry, D Rock. I got you. Give D Rock half my points. D Rock will be able to go to the next question so first. For this on. mistake I made. <laughs> yes, Dub? 
Hold October on. 13th. Okay, good. We're good. All right, so Mr. J, you're next. I was also going to say October 13th. Steven? <clears throat> what if what if this is a big old trick question? Yeah. It's it's very important Lord of Kane's And backstory. I think it was going to be a big summer film hit. So I think it was going to come out May 19th to steal the whole summer blockbuster market. Whoa. Danny? B, September 6th. So I will say this. Each one of these movie days are all from iconic horror movie days. But Steven was right. He chose the right day. That is the most important day Kane's family was burned alive in a fire from his brother, The Undertaker. <laughs> oh. That also was coincidentally the day his movie came out, too. Okay, what? So, so Steven it's gets... a very important wrestling That's lore for the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. It's super important. So now here's a trick question. What was Dwayne The Rock Johnson's first acting role in what movie? Oh, I know. Steven, then Danny, then Mr. J. The Mummy Returns. As? As the Scorpion King. Whoa. Danny? I also say B, The Mummy Returns as the Scorpion King. Mr. J? The Mummy Returns as the Scorpion King. D-Rock? B, yes. <laughs> oh, everyone's on point. <laughs> Dom, give everyone bonus points for this. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> God damn it. Look at that beautiful I mean, it CGI. would be the same as just giving everybody zero points. Exactly. <laughs> Let him figure it out. <laughs> Please, just hold on, man. All right, all right. Wait a second. Is the right answer bolded here? <laughs> this is a trick question. Do not pay attention to bold. <laughs> is that the trick? <laughs> all right. Raise so, hell bold. So name, me, <laughs> so name me a movie that Stone Cold Steve Austin played as an antagonist. I'm gonna in Adam Sandler movies. See the longest yard. In the longest yard, he played a prison guard, which is the mortal enemy of Adam Sandler's character, who was a prisoner. Okay, okay, Mr. J. I'm gonna go with the longest yard, but he also played an antagonist in the first Expendables movie. That's not an Adam no, Sandler movie. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no. but you also said in, in, no, in an Adam Sandler movie. The Expendables is a part what? of the Sandlerverse. Adam Sandler movie. I know. I said the longest movie. yard, but he, I, I'm just giving you an extra. He oh, also played oh, okay. antagonist. Can you imagine if he lived by his T-shirt, like to the letter, like he just mm -hmm. walked into someone's Very house, fun. threw everything everywhere, set something <laughs> on fire, and just left without saying a word, like every time, like. Don't let Steve come to your house. He'll fuck up your shit. All right. So, <laughs> What's the D-Rock. I, I didn't get D-Rock's answer yet. My answer is all of the above. <laughs> okay. So, the answer <laughs> is, for this movie, <laughs> actually, The Longest Yard Whoa! and Grown Ups, D-Rock oh, got both of them. D-Rock got close. He got both of them. Yes. They got both. They got both. <laughs> so, D-Rock gets... Eight points. Whoa. Good job, D-Rock. This was a trick question. It was definitely a trick one indeed. So how about this one? The next question. What was oh. Jesse Ventura's famous line in Predator? Oh. Even then Mr. J? I ain't got time to bleed. Mr. <laughs> J? I'm going to go with what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. I ain't got time to bleed. Game and then, <laughs> and then, um, and then the response is, "You got time to duck," and then they duck. Whoa! And Mister Mister Frank and I actually did a whole episode on Predator. Yeah, when no one was around. He blew my mind in that movie. Throwback. So here's another one. What was John Cena's first movie role? Was it Oh D Rock? Then Mister J? Then Steven? No, George was first. Humbling champion. Mr. J, then D Rock. Steven wasn't first. You can go first. <laughs> so much humbling. So humble points, but so shut up. His first starring role or just his first, the first movie that he was in? The first movie he was in, yes. I think I think what well, it wasn't Fred the movie, and then he did the Marine. What's your answer, Mr. J? 
Spread the movie. Okay. D Rock, your answer? I'll go with 12 rounds. Steven? Stood up. Everybody who's anybody knows that in Ready to Rumble, John Cena is working out in the background of the gym <clears throat> where all the wrestlers are working out. That's an you extra. It's not a movie role. It as is a, a role. As a, that's a, not a role. That's an extra. It's still a role. Does he speak? No. Does Extras he speak? by definition. He speaks with his roles. muscles. That's Extras not- are not <laughs> roles. This is terrible. It, it was before he couldn't be seen, so you could actually perceive him. <laughs> you could perceive him. Okay. Yes. So the points Fair go man. to Steve. Oh. oh my god. You okay there, Dom? Oh, so four points. All right. So here's another one. Oh, How I many have... minutes? Oh, Danny, then D Rock. How many minutes did you have him? What? No, I was not fucking. <laughs> Wait, no, but I said, "Ooh, I know." Doesn't that count as being first? No, you're well... supposed to do the thing with the button. I'm sorry. You know what? The button's yeah. hard. It's really hard. It's too high up there. Yes, that's having... part of the game. You know what? D Rock is right. Damn, man. You have to follow the rules. Danny, you know D-Rock second. gets to go first. <laughs> How many well, minutes? Everybody knows this one. I mean, I just, you know. Just... Say it. Did he have a it's... name of Spider? I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of later. Yeah. That is yeah. also my answer. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Dom, give, give D-Rock three extra points for that. That was a pretty powerful macho well, man. Well, well, so now, so now Bone saw right. is ready. So now oh, yeah. so now you know, ready. actually, he doesn't spend three minutes in there because he kicks the shit out of him. Bro, <laughs> extra, bro, give this legend five extra points. This, gonna the champion. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dominic is just math. It's all right. I'm hating. I'm hating him right now. <laughs> the trial is on Dominic. <laughs> all right, so here's a fun one. How does Drax destroy or maintain his stealth? Danny? Iris, by remaining very still. Yes. <laughs> that's That's perfect. <laughs> so, incredibly so incredibly still I am invisible we can see you oh shit <laughs> so this is where everything is oh, going to go no. to hell this is oh, the bonus no. round I've been speaking about oh, for a while. Jesus Christ, this I've is warned you about this John I told you about this uh, you know what I'm just I'm fuck it whatever so <laughs> let's, let's, have a little, just, let's have a recap I don't care. I'm just 100 gonna points number. I'm just gonna throw whatever fucking number I feel like giving to them I don't care about Frank's crappy points um, everything is where I don't just... give a damn <laughs> Dom this round is where frankly sir points. I don't I give decide. a damn I decide I decide that it's time I decide the points Dom it is time seven for this round I don't care I I'm decide who seven. gets the points that's yeah. like the hardest thing to multiply by, right? <laughs> you got a calculator. No, I told you, calculator. I don't care. I told I you multiple care. times. This might as well have been electronics. Dominic, what is your arbitrary made of points? Because come on, we have to know. My arbitrary made of points is whatever I feel like it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I believe, I believe in Dominic's Cisco system. has gone rogue. Let's go. Okay. Frank, I don't know how to approach challenge. this. Look, right, let's go. If you're gonna make your own choices, um, it has to be all multipliers. You could choose at your discretion, but uh-huh. like definitely get <laughs> higher times amounts. one. I feel like <laughs> it. So, which Sega game for Sonic and Knuckles the lock-on technology works for? Bonus points for explanations of what happens to a game you connect it to the lock-on technology. I saw all you right. first, D-Rock and the Mr. J. I believe it works for. Sonic and Sonic 2. I think those are the only ones. I'm probably wrong about that. And the add-on makes it so that Knuckles is in the game that you plug into the thing. Wild. Mr. J? 
I was gonna say Sonic two and Sonic three, and yeah, like Knuckles ends up being in the in the game. Although he is in Sonic three, but I'm gonna say Sonic two and three. Anyway, all right, Danny. I don't. I don't know. Steven? <laughs> I don't know. This is a tricky one. I think the lock-on technology allows your Sega Genesis device <laughs> to <laughs> play Sonic and Knuckles <laughs> in in That's glorious 32-bit graphics <laughs> okay. every time you play it. So oh. both Mr. J and D-Rock got the questions right. And D-Rock gets the bonus points for explaining the core aspects of Sonic 2, where you can play Knuckles, the echidna in it. Well, Mr. J got the explanation of it working in Sonic 3, which turns Sonic 3 to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But basically Whoa. what ended up happening, all the Sonic games worked for it, but specifically, Sonic 1 and any other Sega game will turn into the Blue Sphere minigame that's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Whoa. So every game works for it, which is the curveball. <laughs> Whoa. So now, what was the first Sega fighting game? Virtual Fighter, Coliseum, Eternal game. Champions, or vir- or fighting by D-Rock, then Steven? Virtual Fighter. Steven? I'm going to go for Virtual Fighter, the non-bolded answer. <laughs> the, non- <laughs> <laughs> the non-bolded answer. <laughs> Danny? I'm going to go for Coliseum, because I like how it sounds. Mr. J? Virtual Fighter. Yes. So D Rock, Steven, and Jay are all correct. It is Virtual <laughs> Fighter, the non This is okay, but like okay, never mind. I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of us are ready to give up. All right. So here, here's another one. What Sega developer was res- I'm sorry, responsible for arcade hits like Space Harrier, Out to Rundown, Revolutionary Three Games like Virtual now there's Fighter one Shenmue. That's a talent size. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one it is. The best. It's the best. Danny? I'm going to guess E. <laughs> Reiko Kodama? Okay. Yeah. D Rock, then Mr. J, then Steven, you're next. <laughs> I'm going to say D, Toshihiro Nagoshi. Mr. J? I was also going to go with D. Steven? I'm- I'm tempted by that italicized <laughs> Reiko. <Kodama. laughs> so what is your answer? What is it? Where does it lie? Reiko, Reiko, Reiko. The answer <laughs> is use the Zuki. Oh, no. oh, nobody got it. Oh, Each no. one of these people are very important to see. So no, wait, yes, so wait. I don't think I, wait, go, I got that one. Name. It was the... nobody. 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 Zero uh, Reiko people. is a musician. Oh, Yuji is Shenmue. Yuji Naka's Knights of Dream and Martin Bradley. I, I forgot what he did, but he did something. So, this next one. Who was Sega's mascot before Sonic? Mr. J? <laughs> Alex Kidd. Bonus points, because I answered first. That is true. He not only put the question mark, but he raised his hand at the same time. Dom, give him extra bonus points for that. Okay, whatever. Uh, the one at the end, I didn't read Bubsy. I read Bussy, and I was like, what? Bussy? Bussy! <laughs> Bussy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, uh, that's not appropriate. So here's a tricky one. Where was Sega created in 1940s? Where was it? D Rock, then Mr. J? I'm gonna go Hawaii. Mr. J? Also A G H and J. Right, Bonus so- points for noticing that. Boom! Mr. J? Japan? Danny? I'm going to pick Germany. Steven? I'm going J for Japan. All right. The answer is Japan. Hawaii. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So dumb. So Steven, Mr. I'm oh, sorry. So Mr. J didn't get it. Steven didn't get it. Danny get it. The champion D-Rock got it. But also bonus points. I already gave him the bonus point. I already gave them the bonus point. But no, but. He also know like they also they, noticed the gra- like the actual grammar. Yes, I I know. You I told us to stop pointing out the, <laughs> the grammar grammar. I, I have changed. Strategy, bitch. <laughs> Strategy. 
<laughs> so aside from the canceled Sega Jupiter, what was another scrap Sega console? Was it A, the Sega Neptune? By the way, he, C, Sega he also screwed up, so just remember, the C is next to the A, so it was yeah. the D next to the B. That's why I'm saying the names, Dom. The <laughs> Sega Sega Pico or the Sega Saturn Dreamcast 2? I did not see who went first, so I'm going to go by a champion first. D-Rock? Oh, I was far from first. I was not I first. I, I He's couldn't going see by champion. By Let's go, oh, D-Rock. Oh, okay. Uh, Sega Neptune. Danny? D, Sega Saturn Dreamcast 2. <laughs> Mr. J, Ben Stevens. <laughs> Me? Would name that. Sega Nomad. Steven. I believe Mr. J's correct. It was the Sega Nomad, and it was supposed to be a mobile competitor to like the Game Boy. Actually, the Whoa. Nomad actually did come out, and it actually oh, was. What? Think of it like the Nintendo it actually Switch came out? before the Nintendo Switch, where you would actually take your Nomad to the TV, then take it home like a handheld, like their Game Boy. But Whoa, it actually came out. Yes, it did. The Switch before the Switch. D-Rock got it correct. It was the Neptune. Whoa. You know, Genesis, Saturn, it all makes sense. Did they was include Pharrell? Hmm? Did they include Pharrell in it? Unfortunately, no. So, so here's the thing. What was the main marketing phrase used against Nintendo back in the day from Sega? Bonus points for any other main phrases they used. Mr. J? Sega does what Nintendo don't, boy! Oh. Steven? It's the Nintendo don't. It's, it's the, he's, he's right. You gotta give it to Mr. Yeah. J. He's gotta get all That's the points. True. Genesis does what Nintendo give don't. Give all the points. Give him the big, massive Genesis points, Dom. But what, what that ad doesn't say, it's because it could do 32 bits and the Nintendo could only do 16 bits. So... so once the before, Super Nintendo came out, that was true. a lie. That is true. So, quick question before I go into the next one. The bonus part of this question. Does anyone have any other Sega marketing phrases that use aside from Genesis does when Nintendo don't? Wait, yeah. Genesis was 16 bits, not 32. Can I just, it it was 16 bit, but they had add ons. They had the oh. add on with a 32X. The 32X. Does it yeah. count that it, they just yelled Sega really loud? Sega! Yeah. But that's not that against count? Nintendo. Does that count? Unfortunately, that count? no. Okay. Don't think about it. There was another one they used. Aside from that, that was just as popular almost. That all the cool kids always kept saying it whenever referring to you about the, the power of the system. And Welcome was to the next level. Plumbers suck. <laughs> it was blast processing. Whoa. Yes. All the blast processing. So here's a sad one. When did Sega stop making consoles? D Rock, then Mr. J. I'm gonna go D two thousand two. Mr. J. I was also gonna go with two thousand two. Danny. I'm going two thousand one. Steven. A Space Odyssey. Whoa. I'll <laughs> even it out with a solid two thousand. Whoa. The answer is. 2001. Oh. I figured it was like maybe 9 11 related. Honestly, like a lot of things kind of like freaked out. <laughs> it was a crazy stop time. Making consoles. The I remember when they flew those planes. <laughs> the terrorists made us stop making consoles. No, uh, I'm saying like people, you know, their priorities shifted and stuff. Like they mm -hmm. bought different things and they, I don't know. It, anyway. it was a crazy time in the world. I don't know but, if it's related Frank, at all. I'm just watch saying. Your that, screen. You know. Frank, watch your screen. What? What? Never mind. Just read it. Just read your thing. So, check this out. So, this question is a a non multi choice. So, blank will never appear on a Nintendo system. Said Nintendo of America's president at the time, Howard Lincoln. What was the game referred to during the congressional hearing on violence video games? Steven? Mortal Kombat. The thing is, Mortal Kombat was on the Sega system. This is a game they said they would never have on a Nintendo system. No, Mortal but Kombat you said it was, was on definitely on there. No, was on Nintendo. Mortal Kombat no, this... was on Nintendo. So yes. the thing is, 
It was a system. This, they they said this game will never appear on a Nintendo system. This game has at been all. on a Sega. Mortal, but the the version console. of Mortal Kombat and Nintendo didn't have any blood. You had to put right. It in. Mortal Kombat was definitely one of those contestants that were brought up, but this particular game was extremely controversial. Oh, it's that Sega fucking CD. it's the it's the game that the, night trap. Like the home invasion game. Night trap. It's fucking uh, yeah. it's like real footage and you it's like really it. graphic. Night trap. I can't remember Jay, the goddamn name. We just it. talked about I'm it. I'm the only one that got it. Mr. J got, got it. it. Which, ironically, many years later, it ended up on a Nintendo system. How oh. crazy is that? You were close. You said the you name are. of the thing. I want the points. That is true. Give Mr. J those bonus points. So now this is the final part of the bonus round. So this is where oh, it's going to get really crazy. I have to get my timer, so here is the bonus question. Oh, God. Well, so, so just put it in for everyone. I'm not doing any multiplier. There's no multiplier. It's just one point. One, one point, point for every game. <laughs> one point. So let me let me first explain this. So this Dominic question sounds like he's been in a war. He's like, oh no, no, this is the one I told Dominic. And we we talked about this a month ago. So the the point of this question is that you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds to do this and basically what you have to do in it is to name a sonic game now but here's where it gets crazy you can mention as many games as you want but here's the crazy part whoever goes after you can name all those games and continue right where you left off so who is the bravest to go first you have 30 seconds to name sega games of Sonic the Hedgehog. The Wait, clock is here. What? What do you? What? That okay. didn't make sense. Okay. Are so we going basically, tur- is this turn based? So uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Who is the bravest of the bunch? <laughs> Steve. So Steven, I'm going to start the timer, and like I was mentioning, you can name any Sonic game. Dom, I want you to make sure to keep count of how many games you oh, got. So just make the tally All of the right. points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever he gets right, out. Whatever he gets right, I'll put it on. Exactly, okay. and like I said, whatever he mentions, you can mention as well and go on further. So, are you ready, Steven? Yes. Bravest of the brave. Go. Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Blue Spheres is something that you said, Sonic Heroes, Sonic uh, Racing, I'm pretty sure is a thing, okay. or Sega Racing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Sonic was uh, an Easter egg character, so he was also in Knights on Sega Saturn. All um, right, and he was in Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two I'm, on the Dreamcast. For, hold on, Steve, your time had already ended up on Knights into Dreams, so you had seven Sonic games right there. <laughs> the cameo that wow, doesn't really count, fast. but I'll give you like a little bonus point for that one. Who is ready to continue where Steven left off? Anything is on the table. 30 seconds on the clock. Originally, this was supposed to be like a minute, but we I'll had go. to test this out. Go, I'll champion. Go. Are you going to say go? Yes. You can start okay. now. Okay. Uh, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 2006, Sonic, uh, what was the thing he said? Blue Spheres? Um, Sonic Racing, uh, uh, Sonic Adventures, Sonic Adventure 2, um, that's, yeah, I think I'm tapped out. Okay, that's nine. All right, who will be the next Bravest to go? I guess I'll go. Mr. J, you ready? All All right, begin. Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D, Sonic CD, Sonic 2006, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Origins, Sonic Generations. Do you have these written down? No, I don't. Sonic um, and Mario at the Olympic Games. Oh, shit. Crossover. <laughs> Sonic All-Star Racing. Uh, Sonic Racing. Mm-hmm. Uh... All right. The blue spheres. That's wild. So far, Mr. J has the most picks so far out of that. Danny, all eyes are yes. on you. Can you capitalize on all these answers and go beyond? Uh, can I? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> Let me know when you're ready. You have thirty uh, seconds to win. Okay, sure, sure. I'll just, right. I'll just name Begin. things. Okay. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic Blast, Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Advance 3, Sonic Rush, Sonic Rivals. Are you reading? You're reading! <laughs> You're reading, I'm cheater! Che- I'm cheating! He's stealing Sonic it! Cheaters Sonic win. Sonic He's stealing the election! Sonic Colors, Sonic Generation, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Sonic Jump, Sonic Blue, Shadow Crystal, Sonic Blue, Fire and Ice, Sonic Jesus. Manium, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic and the Secret Ring, right, Sonic and the Holy moly. Oh, God, not fair. fair. That's crazy. Well, I didn't say, say anything goes cheat. from that. But you anything never goes. Said anything you goes. Said I literally. That I was crazy. Care. You beat That's Mr. Right. J. I didn't think that was possible there. That's I right. Oh, had it all. Once again, I was cheated. Dom, I hope you kept track of all those, those I'm things. I'm willing, at this point, I'm willing to do what I have to do. So I'm now. To do We're in the final round. Oh my oh god, my there's still one more round. So just to iterate. No, no, no. So, this is the point. We don't have to go over the points. This is the final round. Oh, no, I'm like, going over the points. I will because not right now it's anymore. Derek in the lead. It's Derek in the lead. Okay. Like, what are the so points? You don't have to say like, any more, but just like, Mr. J can Mr. J can catch up. Whoa. What about like, Danny and Steven? Like, what, he's like three points. Uh Try harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Don't tell the point him out. We at least know it's between Mr. J and D Rock. But can there be a comeback? Yes. Uh. So the final round, the DC round. So, in what <gasps> Batman uh, movie, D Rock? Uh, then Danny, then Mr. J. That is gonna be Batman and Robin. He flashes it at the auction for Poison Ivy to benefit. The planet, the 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 telescope. Yes, bonus points for the champion himself. I mean themselves. My apologies. Uh yes, yeah, so. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. And Batman says, and ba- and the when he takes the card out, it makes a little ching noise, and he goes, "Never leave the cave without it." Bonus points for that little quote there. Doesn't he wait? Doesn't he technically reference it in the Batman Forever McDonald's commercial? That's not a movie. Was, hmm, a Batman okay. and Robin is a reference. So, for this next question, Mr. J, you can go in for it. Which actor ben played Affleck. both? Dang, what a legend. It was. I get all the points. Times seven. <laughs> the Justice League member when amount, did, seven. When did Ben Affleck hit Superman? Oh, yeah. George Reeves. In the oh. George Reeves movie. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So now. One of the easiest and hardest ones. Oh, Can you name well, me the Green Lantern's Steven. oath? Danny? Steven knows this one. Steven. Uh, in Darkest Day and Darkest Night, no evil shall escape my sight. Um, <laughs> be, uh, uh, my uh, power, uh, Green Lantern's light, something. No. Shit. No. That was close. That's That's so hard. close. No. That was Steven? close. That's in close. Brightest Day, in Blackest Night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship at evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's lights. See, I didn't cheat. A legend. That's some powerful stuff right there. Give him 10 <laughs> points for that. I, I did. Don't worry. I gave him a little more. So now here's an interesting one. Who created Wonder Woman's bracelets of victory? Mr. J, <laughs> then D-Rock. Oh, oh. Then Okay, D-Rock. Yeah, Athena. Danny? I think it's Hephaestus. Yeah, Steven. I would guess Hephaestus. He's the armorer of the gods. Yeah. Yes, it's Hephaestus. Yes. Wow. Ten points That's for that. Now you're Greek mythology. We're just going straight with the tens. I'm so the next tens. question. I'm going yes. to make, make it, it simplistic. It's just going to be ten points from here on out. Oh my but God. I was going by the nineteen eight by Wonder Woman 1984 because I, I thought she got her armory from Athena. Yeah, but who created it? She may have no, given well, it, but know. the creator. Whatever. So here's a tricky one. How does one woman find her invisible jet, Steven? She's got one of those beep, 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 beep. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Mr. Mr. J? That's what I was going to say. D-Rock? Danny? I, I, don't, I don't know how she finds that jet. 
she she wakes up inside of it. I don't know. <laughs> It's women's telepathy. intuition telepathy women's oh, intuition okay. i knew it so what year did superman officially die and also it's for the issue number 75 bonus points if you can figure out what month it happened in real life mr j steven it also made the news uh, i was gonna say 1993 may i don't know steven I think it is. I'm gonna go April 1993. D Rock. Uh, let's say 1998. Danny, definitely not. Uh, what year did Superman officially die in Superman number 75? Bonus point for month. What was what the year? official day? I mean, no, official month in the year. He died. Didn't they kill him in like the 90s? That's correct. That is true. <laughs> but what part of the 90s? We had multiple like years in the 90s. Okay, years. There's 10 Come options. On. Shut up. <laughs> um, I'm going to say 97. No. I'm guessing. All right. Oh, it actually oh, was in 1992, so. and the bonus. Was the, it was November. Off by one year. You were so close. We had so far. Oh no one God. got it. Damn. And they broke Batman's back like six months later. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah. Because after oh it made a lot God. of money, they were like, let's go. Let's go do it to Batman. All right. So here's a one where we need name me ver- three versions of the Flash. D Rock, you go first. No, then George. Mr. J. George was first. Oh, go, Mr. J. Barry Allen, mm-hmm. uh, Wally West, uh-huh. Danny Garrick, and wasn't there like Bart something? Whoa. Bart Allen or something? I don't know. Bart Gunn. <laughs> uh, Do you mean like they're like their alter egos or like their names? Yes, their alter egos. Yeah, you could, the alter egos, like they use it. Like all the ones Jay was mentioning is just an example. Uh, uh, I mean, that's all I got right now. Steven? I, I, I only know Barry Allen. Okay. Barry Allen, Wally West, Jay Garrick, Bart Allen, the Flash from the future. Whoa. Um, okay. Then there is the Black Flash, Death. He's a Flash. Steven wins because I was going to name like three of those. So. Then there's the Yellow Flash, Eobard Thon. Oh, He's holy shit. I didn't know we were doing Mr. like... Jay. Well, then, wait, Frank, wait, I didn't know we were doing like the, the bad ones. They're yeah. flashes. They count they're as flashes. flashes. No, they're not the Flash. But they are the a flash. flash. Then there's no, also Black Flash is not the Flash. Then there's also the Blue Flash, whose name is Cobalt Blue. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, got what about the white oh, one? Godspeed. Gonna, I'm gonna. Well, Steve I you already had this turn. One. Yeah, you already had your turn, Mr. J. And we're suppo- we're supposed no, to name their well, alter- I didn't know we could do like the. We're supposed to name their alter egos. Ones. So, well, this, the thing is, you can name the the thing, but also their names too. Like it's like there's a lot of flashes. Like I have a big list. That's and, all I got. Like, Steven got it. That's all I got. Jay was number one at first, but then Steven just trumped all those flashes. Decimated. That's a trick question. It is. So here's another trick question. It's not who you are underneath the side, but what you do that defines you. Who is this a quote from? Steven, then Mr. J? It is a quote from Alfred Pennyworth in Whoa. the Dark Knight films. Mr. J? No, I was pretty sure it was his uh his girlfriend, the the DA lady, uh, you know, um goddamn, what's her name? <laughs> Bro, her name, I can hear the, the name the being screamed. Can't hear them screaming her name? Rachel Dawes. <laughs> Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Rachel! Rock and Mr. J got it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The tricky part was, yeah, like, it's, it's Rachel. A lot of people say Bruce, but no, it's Rachel. So now the final question. Worth 20 points. It was in the first slide. Yes, what man. does DC stand for? The Iraq? Then Mr. J? Then Steven? Detective Comics wild 
Mr. J? So it's DC Comics. So it's Detective Comics Comics. Whoa! <laughs> extra right. points. Whoa. Extra freaking oh, extra points. points for that. No, that, no, no, he actually is legitimately right. It's, oh, it's DC okay. Comics, so it's Detective, Detective Comics Comics. Yes, actually, in all It's so good, we do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say Detective Comics Comics. No, but there. they actually did yeah. have it like that. Like, it's DC Comics, so it's Detective Comics Comics. Wild. Genius. So dumb. Give him those bonus points. I'm 70. Uh, and bonus now, points? And that was the last... <laughs> That was the, the last final. That's 150 oh of God. my slides. We did it. Oh boy. That should be worth 150 spin. points. Made it. <laughs> so, right. who is our champion? Who is the trials of trivia? Who's the champion of all champions of all time? All right. So, we got to know. So, What's the final scores? Don't just announce it. Go by lowest to highest. All right. So, the, lo- so the lowest is Steven. Whoa. Plot with twist. Da- with, Danny Plot th- with Danny in third. Drum roll. And the winner and the winner is who got first place was Mr. J. Let's go! I I got another title. After That's... six years, the ah! champion returns. A new champion has arisen. Let's That's go. crazy. We Whoa. do Two-time have a new champion. champion. St- stop sharing screen frame. Congratulations, Mr. J. Finally. For surviving and conquering the trials of trivia, your second championship. Just... Way to go. Let's go. This is amazing. We survived. Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you, Dominic, for helping us celebrate 10 years Yay! of the Bundacast with this ridiculous trials of trivia. <laughs> the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, Dom went, bro, he went rogue. Trivia trials. Yeah. It's... Trivia trials. So I... Next time, Frank, you do Jeopardy, all right? You'd use the Jeopardy program, all right? I didn't we think we were going to make it. to establish an appropriate <laughs> set of point systems at a standard just set of questions. the Jeopardy program. Like, exactly, or something, or it just sounds... all multiple choice. Or, it, like, sounds to me like, it sounds to me like you're signing up to plan the next Trials of Trivia. Oh, that's what it sounds like. The foreshadows. I'm going to pick everything I watched, nothing any of you ever watched or played, and watch you all Amazing. perish. Amazing. Let's do that. I'll Whoa. do it, too. I'll make a whole thing, and you'll never know. <laughs> Mr. J, do you have a, a champion's acceptance speech? The champion has returned. I'm back. I've never left. I've only been cheated five times. I should be the I should be the seven time champion, but I'll accept two times. Humble as ever. D Rock is just plotting, <laughs> is just sitting there plotting, ready for the next time. Like I'm coming back. Any any words you like to say, D Rock, like to your new champion? Any words? <laughs> Anything that comes to mind? Whoa. <laughs> What? Giving a two finger salute. Man. Tell it for you, Jay. Never. That has shit's been going to WrestleMania. A fantastic <laughs> episode. That's one of my favorite episodes ever. I've laughed so much this episode. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you, Dominic. You guys made this episode so special, so perfect. Um. That's all I gotta say. If anyone wants to add anything else, and then I'll do the no. other kids. Oh, we good. It was I'm beautiful. Good. It was definitely something. I didn't expect this to have all those tech issues, but I'm gonna thank you guys for all sticking through all this. This was crazy. Yeah, man. I just can't believe oh. Dom went rogue though. That that was a big game changer. I never expected <laughs> Dom to snap. I had Dom, faith in you. If Dom. Dom's truly rogue, he would have let me win because I'm his sister. <laughs> Dom, Rogue Nation. Garbage. Why Loyalty would you? Why would nothing. you? Why would you trust Rogue Nation to be that? Loyalty I would let means you win. nothing to you. Damn straight. Chaos all the way. What an impartial judge. These I knew. Bros ain't license. loyal. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Danny. Thank you, D Rock. Thank you, Mister J. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Blockbuster guy Frank. 
Thank you, audience. Anyone who's listened to any podcast, thank you so much. Um, and uh, remember, kids, Bunda Halloweenathon's about to start in October. Yeah! No. We're going to be covering some horror movies, doing some commentary tracks and stuff. So check us out in October. And uh, yeah, fuck the police. Let's go. <laughs> Yo! Hey, I'm Wonder. Hey, I'm Wonder. Wondercast? Give yeah. it up for Wondercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wondercast. What's up, everybody? This is Jason David Frank, Green Ranger. You're listening to Wondercast. We got it. Find it at Bundacast, and I know they love Effie. Subscribe to the Bundacast.